All right. So, uh, last time we played, you guys made it to the city of El Barqua uh, after cleaning up a little bit the uh, mess at the Lopez estate. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I logged into... Oh, my God. Okay, so they... Okay, so... I'm so sorry. That's fine. I'm on a private I'm on a private server in World of Warcraft. And now because they released the new expansion, my fucking character is on un- No He's angry. He's angry. Uh, uh before you guys left the Lopez estate though, uh That's you guys fine. were met by the uh Bradshaw Detective Agency. Uh who let you know that you were suspects in the uh incident at uh Bacharet. Um you know, where the city burned to the ground. Um <gasps> But you guys continued on after giving them a bunch of fake names, some of you more successfully than others. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was like Emma uh, something. You, you, uh, should, yeah. you should definitely remember it. Yeah. I, no, I don't want to. Um, <coughs> but then you guys made it to the city of uh, El Barqua. Um, not before uh, Fahil Wheelock uh, pulled you aside and let you know that uh, he had some plans in this city to secure... Certain amounts of funds for the uh, Golden Riders and their gunsmithing company so that he could retire and uh, go live a simple life with his uh, wife and child back in the capital. Um, you are currently the only person who knows this, uh, so you have a bit of a secret. Um, I'd like to drop some knowledge on people, you know, I'd like to educate them. Yeah. Uh, so you guys went on into the city. Um, notice that it has changed quite a bit from the last time some of you had been there. Um, much more uh, dense in terms of population. The city has been built up. Um, and there's been a lot of investment, uh, especially from one Ricardo Silvas, a uh, disgustingly rich tabaxi who runs the uh, casino that you guys see in the picture there, uh, as well as everything else in the Silvas Square. Uh, Willock wanted to secure some funds from him, and, uh, successfully did so with your help, Fahil. Uh, you guys secured a, an investment of one million gold for the Prestige Gunsmithing Company. Uh, but not everything's quite as simple as it would always seem. Uh, cause Rhett found, uh, a very interesting individual outside. Uh, one Ash Perot, who you guys have dealt with before. Uh, a bit of an outlaw. Gang leader. Uh, and it seems that her uh, intentions out here is to uh, rob this casino blind. So, where we last left off, you guys were still debating whether or not you wanted to rob the casino with her or protect it from her. Uh, so, I'll allow deliberations to continue. Okay, so I mean, now we got one more vote. Uh, so, so he's not here currently. He, he'll come in later, depending. Well, we don't have one more vote. <laughs> we don't have one more vote. He's not here currently. So, still up to you guys. Uh, don't worry. I learned some, like, political and war terms in, like, <laughs> advance to this. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, filibuster. I was about to say, I don't think you're filibusting. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I plead the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and the second. And All I right, don't Siri, give you my consent, phone. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. But yeah, I, I rest my case. I have misplaced my case. Okay. You're resting on your case. It's, it's under your butt. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck is happening there? Are you there. okay? He had to find his case. He still has I see, I see. So let me, let's go ahead and take heads here. Who here wants to rob the casino? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I want to. Okay, so Senna want wants to. Does anybody else want to? I want to. You want to. So Senna and Rhett, anybody else? No? Okay. Uh, so Wheelock seems... He doesn't seem to want to do this. However, we're going to do something here. Uh, I want you two to take stock and uh, decide which one of you wants to roll a persuasion check to see if you can persuade Wheelock. On which one of us has the higher charisma? 
Um, I will tell you right now, the roll, uh, it's going to be a hard DC, so you need to roll higher than a 20 to persuade it. Oh my god. Um, yes. Okay. So if you can pull it off... Wait, yeah. so we have to roll higher than a 20 on... Yes. On your persuasion check on him. So whoever you What's feel is more mark? possible for that. You're going to want to do this. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm guessing you don't have before to... you roll, okay, unless, before you roll, unless anybody has any objections, like, they do not 100% want to do this. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. In which case, feel free to make your case now before they start rolling to uh, persuade Wheelock. Should we make these cases? Because basically, basically, the roll for Wheelock is going to be the linchpin if you guys can't come to a conclusion. So. Okay, so we'll say we'll wait on that. Deliberations can continue, of course. We have an odd amount of people. That's true. Sure. Yeah. I mean, sure with, we, no, I'm saying with Wheelock, it's even. Oh yeah, Wheelock's there, but he, he already expressed that he would like he would not like to. Uh, but if it comes down to it, you guys they can try to persuade him. Uh, otherwise, so. Fahil will not want to, but if one of you guys can do a persuasion check, then instantly we win. Okay. Um, it's funny. So in character, what well, like in character right now? Mm -hmm. um, where, what exactly are we doing? Like, uh, what, what have we just recently said? Um, you guys basically just started deliberating. Um, Ash and her guys are continuing along, just kind of checking the uh, casino out. At this point, I'll say you guys have probably stepped outside. Uh, Willock's there with you. He's probably smoking a cigar or something. Um, you guys are just outside, kind of, kind of deciding. It's about midday at this point, so you guys are just deciding. Uh, Okay. Uh, which side you guys would like to be in this uh, in this situation? Okay, so I look over to Ben and I'm like, okay, so so how much money from that? You said a hundred million dollar gold deal. How much money of that are you seeing from this? Honestly, probably none. But we all lost my boy. You know, we go way back. Plus, this is like this is securing. You his future with his wife and his kids and for all the boys that practically turned my life around. I can't rob this place in good conscience knowing that he won't come out clean from it. Will uh, looked you on and say, uh, it wasn't quite a hundred million, it was just a million, but still, that's... Uh, yeah. More than enough to make sure that the uh, Golden Riders can go into more official businesses and get the uh, new Julian Revivalists off their asses. And it means I can retire, which, uh, cat's out of the bag, by the way. Uh, looking to retire after 20 years out here. So, it's up to you guys what you want to do, but I'm I'd, sure we I'd can find it hard to do number. this. We'll leave you as much as you need, and we'll just take the rest. Either way, well, we'll get paid. And then actively make an enemy out of a... Yeah, Mr. Silvas is a very guy. powerful man, and I know you haven't met him, but... Uh, if you know the history of Tabaxi's, the fact that one of them not only made it out here, but then made it as rich as he has, is uh, a testament to his character. And uh, mm. how strong he is. Or his allies. Uh, how far do you think those bikers are gonna get in terms of robbing this place well i don't reckon the security here is quite souped up enough to deal with them but the security is less the issue as it is the money and where it is and how willing he is to give it up not to mention if they really start causing issues the uh police here will be here in a heartbeat keep in mind this is a civilized area now so going out and murdering folk ain't exactly the uh way to do things now. So Jails and Jewel are not good places. If we hypothetically were to rob them, we would have to do it quietly because we don't want to just cause chaos, right? Well, you could try to do it quietly, but I think all that comes down to uh, what Ash wants to do. She's I don't think she's going to do it quietly. She is not going to do this quietly. She don't seem the type. She seems a bit of a firebrand. Yeah, a bit. So, it's a risk. I mean, either way, we're fighting someone. It's just, uh, 
Where exactly does it go? Yeah. I'd imagine there's more money involved with the uh, robbery, but at what cost? I look over at Ben and I say, I, I can't, I, I can't actively take part in something that hurts you or, you know, fucks us over in the longer run for my own personal gain. I'll tell you what. I'll, 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 I will not take part in Ash's escapades as they were. All that was in character, by the way, including like mm -hmm. the side. It, it was all, it was all perfect. No, you got it. I appreciate that, brother. Yeah, look, I'm hardly going to stop you guys robbing this place, but I'm afraid you're not going to get my help on this one. I can't do it. My man, real lock could get hurt in this. I'm sure she has great plans, but uh, a great plan can always fall apart. Especially like her. her, she doesn't have a plan. She just goes in and does what she wants. That's that's the type of girl she looks like. She has a hell of a lot of time to look I, I, I smirk when Senna says that. Yeah, some of you actually are familiar with her antics because you guys were in Pale Grove. Um, she's, yeah. yeah, she's shoot first, act later, or think later, so definitely, uh, I mean, it, she's seemingly done well for herself, but uh, doesn't mean that she's always the uh, keenest mind on things. Yeah, her uh, shoot first, ask questions later attitude might work in a liquor store or two, but when it comes to a giant fuck off casino run by a very angry man with a lot of trauma, maybe not. So we're not doing this. We're 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 helping out our Catman army. Oh, I, I didn't say I was helping out. Yeah, I needed to like. Okay. Yeah, I I still won't hurt someone that was good to me when I needed it, you know. So I'm not gonna stop her from robbing this place, but I also, you know, I'm not gonna make it worse for Ben's people. So. We're lock will kind of nod to your eyes and say, "Well, uh, unfortunately, the burden of knowing and all this stuff is uh, likely going to mean I got to get involved." Can't just sit by and let them get robbed, especially if the uh, investment that I'm supposed to get is going to get robbed. <clears throat> your, mean, your choice is, of course, but... Uh, I am very happy to hmm. disintegrate these people if it means keeping your deal up. Well, so. we don't need to go murdering now. Again, we're in a civilized city. You, uh, yeah, unless I you want to end up in uh, a Julian jail. But yeah, sure, but I if I catch a bullet first, they're dead. Hmm. I might be able to get a little extra money out of it for you guys, too, but we'll see. I think first step's probably letting him know what's uh, coming his way. Uh, so we are searching a method to stop her from st uh, stealing from this place, right? Certainly seen Pretty that much. way. Whether or not... Well, well if, she hasn't, if she got no more goons, she depends on her goons. Without her goons, she won't get in there shooting and something like that so if we could get rid of her goons she can't do this robbery easy as that with all respect friend i think you underestimate just how much she likes to have about things i don't know her and I, I don't care about her if she dies she dies so not my problem <clears throat> i think he might be on to something what's a general without an army that's true how would, you uh, how would you figure we go about this, then? We get them all drunk, then we pile them up in the backyard, and get them one by one. Alright, well... We can... Pop, I... Pop, pop. I have an idea. It might not work, it might work, it uh, depends. It, and you have to uh, do just a small part. You just have to distract this woman. I take care of... She always has these two bodyguards, and they are... Enough asset for my plan. I mean, she doesn't know me. Maybe I'll just 
get to know her and pretend I'm on her side. Or we could leverage the fact that some of you already have a relationship with her. Yeah. Either way, could pull something about that, yeah. How many, uh, how many do we count she has in her little, uh, posse? Anybody have a number? At least two. Hmm. I would have seen them all, but I don't remember. Um, if you want, you could roll an insight check to see if you could kind of gauge how many you saw. Like, you could give rough numbers, but depending on your roll. Wow. Oh, no. Jesus Christ, 22. Um, yeah, at, least, at least two. You figure she's got about uh, eight guys with her, give or take. So uh, it's not it's not a crazy amount, but it's it's enough to do some damage for sure. I see exactly what you just said. Yeah. And also with this one, I start walking out of the casino after I get that little bit. Of well, you guys are already out. Of, you guys are like outside the casino. Oh, you're, you're oops, in the square right now. Shit. I start yeah. looking around. Okay. What are you looking around? I'm like. And this shit. How about how about a fucking in? How about a, how about an in? Yeah, there is the um, uh, what's it called? I had a name for it. There is a like a resort part to this uh, casino. It's a, a building off to the in the picture. It's off to the right. This building right here. Um, so you could definitely uh, deal with that if you're looking for somewhere to stay. It is also still midday, so I mean. You know, seemed like she planned her attack for a little later. So you guys do have a little bit of time. At the very least. Any shops? I mean, yeah. Elbark was known for there being a uh, important trading hub for uh, Jewel, so. I, I, I go to Crystal and I say, I'm about to go look around in the shops and stuff. Maybe grab something. You, you want to come with me? He'll kind of furrow his brow a bit and look at you and say, Grab? Buy. He makes a little grabbing motion with his hand. A little oh. rat hand. A little rat hand. <laughs> Small one. Oh, I, I meant buy, but... Eh, eh, we'll see how the day goes. Do you want to come? Yes! Hey, Okay. I wave at the rest and say, I'll be at the end if this takes too long. Gotcha. Good luck. All right. Um, yeah, so he'll head off with Crystal. Uh, what's everybody else up to at this point? Mm. Well, I've got this plan. Yeah, you guys can still announce the plan. I, my plan is you distract her and I... Um, say uh, I t oh, wait a second. I have to uh, search of words. I'm bad at English. Wait a second. Convince. That's what I'm. Hey, convince. <laughs> I'm and I'm trying to convince uh, the uh, her bodyguards to tell the others that they have to go. I have my ways. You just have to. Just Distract Ash away from them that I can do my. Yeah, thing. we can do that. Could I hold on to my coin for a while? Oh, your coin? Yes. Yes, thank you. Here you are. Get your coin back. Oh, I uh, it when we're out of this situation. Yes, yes. Um, I still have. <laughs> I don't want you die with my coin. Give it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <put> it away. <clears throat> I don't own it anymore. I lost it in gambling. No! <laughs> That's funny. But I oh hadn't the, hadn't, had the yeah, time had the time to research. You you pull the coin out and hand uh, it back to her. Um, she kinda takes it back. Somewhat swiftly. Are there any gun stores still open? There is uh well you wouldn't you wouldn't fully know. You could ask Wheelock, you'd probably know. Uh, Wheelock! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, Santa. I need bullets, please. Oh. You reckon you want to go to the gun bullets. store then, yeah? Yes, please. All right, I don't know a place a little ways from here. Um, he'll, he'll explain where it is, basically, for you. Can you hold my hand and leave me there? No, fuck. I'm, just, I'm walking. I'm walking. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to take part in Catagoon's plan? Well, what's, 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 what's the plan? What are, we, what are we doing with all that? I mean, I'm going to help. 
But right. I'm gonna go buy bullets first. Oh, you guys want to do some shopping? Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go with Senator to the gun store because I am going to sell some legally acquired arms. Sure. I emptied my entire mag into a fucking dead guy's head. That's fine. That was not worth it. All right, cool. Uh, Hierophant, Katagoon, what do you guys want to do in this uh, little interim time? Well, then I'll follow them. I need bullets too, okay. definitely. So three to the gun store. Hierophant, what are you doing? Um. Shit, bro. I'm just vibing, bro. Okay. You can chill at the casino and gamble more, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, do whatever you want, yeah. Okay. Wait, no. Gambling is bad. I lost <laughs> once, so then I quit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why not try your luck again? Okay. That's how casinos Nevada. work, baby. Nevada. Okay, Nevadian. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Wait! I can't drink my sorrows away! It's bad! What am I gonna do? <laughs> Oh, you can drink beer or champagne, that's really all they have. That's all that's Wait, legal, they really. They have champagne, yeah. It's not good champagne, but they have champagne. How did I forget I had a crossbow? I'm dumb. Yes. <laughs> I have never used this. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Let's start with... So, right, are you, like... You're not taking part in any of this, yeah? That's, that's the general yeah. idea? Okay, so then we will get to you uh, lastly. Uh, everybody going to the gun shop. So Will Ock will uh, kind of lead you guys that way. He's familiar with the uh, <clears throat> with the place. Um, you guys walk through the streets. Uh, general hustle and bustle. Um, of course, being midday, the heat is ramping up. Um, it's probably about... Oh, man, it's in the hundreds uh, Fahrenheit-wise. I don't know what that is Celsius, but it's it's hot. Um, that is about 34 or 35 degrees Celsius. Yeah, we'll say it's about 35 degrees Celsius. Um, That's normal summer weather. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty balmy out here, out in the desert. Um, oh, what's like more... It's like 38? It's like 38 to 40, I thought, right? It's, uh, it's 37.7 repeating. Okay, it's about 105, 106 generally outside. So, um, Yeah, so it's hot. Um, which is why you guys are, as you're walking, a little confused as you see the, the general inhabitants of this place. Uh, they're wearing a decent amount of clothing. It is pretty flowy, um, but they're still wearing a lot of layers, um, you know, thick kind of fabrics, uh, very beautiful fabrics. Uh, Fakil, you're, you're generally familiar with this. This is general Julian attire, you know, the kind of Middle Eastern robes, the, uh, I don't know what they call them, the... The head towel things. I don't remember what the turban? actual uh, turban. There you go. Yeah, turbans. <clears throat> Quite a lot of turbans. Um, yeah, it, it looks like they'd be sweating, the f like they'd be dying out here. But they they seem quite fine. Fahil, you know, Dragonborn generally are more uh, sturdy against hot weather, so it's not that surprising. It's uh, the weather. I mean, it's hot for them, but. Uh, you out of the group especially, you're handling it the, the best. Like, it's, okay, it's a little hot, whatever. Uh, yeah. I would say probably Hierophant and, and uh, Nemrod are probably handling, handling it pretty poorly, considering the climates they're from. Uh, Help me. You have never, well, Red has seen this kind of weather. You have never in your life dealt with this kind of, like, heat. It's, it's brutal. It's not nice. This is um, Senna, yeah, you're fine with it. Katagoon, it's unpleasant, but you can live with it. It's not the end yeah. of the world. Um, Crystal doesn't seem too bothered by it. Um, and Wheelock is, he's chilling. I mean, he's got his fucking, he's got his leathers on. He's, he's all cowboyed up. He's chilling. Um, but yeah, he leads you guys down these, uh, these sidewalks. Um, you see quite a few, uh, there's a lot of traffic, like, like car traffic here. Um, it seems like uh, vehicles in general, I mean, they're in certain places in Casbar, like Purs, there was a lot of cars and stuff, but overall across the country they're not very widespread so far from what you've seen in jewel cars are very widespread um it seems like a more emergent technology out here you see different sorts of um you know old like cadillacs and some jeeps um some all terrains like jeeps um, mostly cars like kind of like cuba's level of like cars and stuff that kind of uh era of car um but yeah, a lot of that going on. A lot of hustle and bustle. I mean, this place is pretty big in terms of population. Um, so, pretty big crowds and all that. 
you see different bazaars where people are just kind of going back and forth. You know, it seems like a common thing to do to just go shop at a bazaar like it is to go to a mall here. Um, different, like, street performers playing different music um, or dancing. or You see quite a few little shady gambling setups. Some people playing chess. Uh, some people playing card games. You know, street vendors, all of that. Um, but eventually you guys do make your way uh, down a ways through a couple of uh, different blocks and uh, you see a gun store. Gun. What's the name of this gun store. The name of this gun store. Peter's Pew Pews. <laughs> <laughs> Fun one gun store, dude. Hold on, I gotta get an Arabic name generator up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sec. Marashala three. What? Races. It's not, I mean it's uh, not very, very You very see very the very sign very above very this very place very says uh Kashida's <laughs> Kashida's guns. Um, Kashida. Kashida's guns, yes. Uh you guys walk in with wheel lock. Hold on, I'm dying. Okay, we're good. Uh, you guys walk in with wheel lock. You hear the, you know, the ding -ding 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 of, of a bell above the door as you walk in. Um, and an older uh, dragonborn man, he kind of has like these thin, uh, like whisker-like uh, facial hair things going on. And uh, he's, he's, a, he's a bit uh, hunched over. He's, he's definitely older in uh, all this stuff. Sorry Jesus about that. My bones are collapsed. Uh, but as you guys walk in, uh, he looks at you and says, Ah, yes! How can I help you? Gun! No. <laughs> yes, we do sell guns here. That is wonderful. What what kind of guns you got? Well, we have hunting rifles, we have shotguns, revolvers, all the sorts. You got anything for point defense? I'm sorry, for what? <laughs> Didn't quite catch that. What the fuck do you or like that? defending a specific place from intruders, friend? Oh, yes. yeah. Well, I suppose any gun could do that job quite well. It depends on <laughs> if you want range or not. I am aware. I would like some close combat. Close <laughs> combat? Maybe you'd be interested in one of my shotguns then. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I just looked outside and it looks like a fucking nuclear wasteland. What the fuck happened? Where? The ganze Himmel is einfach so gelb. Ja, ich weiß es, hab ich mir eben auch schon gedacht. Oh god, oh no! Oh no! The sky is only yellow. That's exciting. Everywhere. You guys getting nuked? That's fucking whip, bro. Congratulations. Either that or sandstorms, I don't fucking know. Hey! You don't live in a desert! Yeah, but we get <laughs> desert sand sometimes. That's yes. funny. It comes oh. from Spain. Oh, or okay. China. Yeah, from China. I think it comes from China. Or the Mojave. Uh, it might come from the Mojave. What 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 kind of shotguns you got? Uh so he will uh head over to one of the displays he has. Um let me pull up my guns here. Uh, so the majority of the guns, the shotguns he has are uh, kind of classic um, long-barreled two-shot shotguns. Uh, Wonderful. No trench uh, He looks back and forth and he says, uh, Do you want buckshot or a slug? Buckshots mm. for close range. Slugs can give you a little more uh, breathing room. They're probably gonna rob the casino. I'm. Um, this is not. A, this is not in character. They're probably gonna rob the casino <laughs> at like prime time, take hostages and shit, so the police don't fuck them over. So buckshot would likely mean mass murder. I'm gonna go with slugs. What's about, what's wrong about mass murder? Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! Fair point. Good part two. I get it. I have not heard you take yet, and I. <laughs> no, I only mass murder fucking cartels, not innocent civilians. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, even Senate standards. Jesus. Civilians, civilians Jesus. cartels have standards. All humans. 
Um, yeah. what? Wait, what? Well, the difference being one's a job, the other's metal sickness. Yeah. So yeah, so you want a slug. He'll, uh, he'll pull out a, um, what's basically a, a Jocelyn. Um, a barrel over barrel. And, uh, Jocelyn. Hand it yes. over to you so you can generally see how you like the uh, the feel and the fit and all that. The, 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 so. the boom and the fast, dude. I toss it into the air and catch it again. Watch, watch me, watch me. <laughs> Roll watch, watch me, a slide of hand check. Watch, watch me break it. Well, it's pretty well I'm weighted. Fine. You toss it up. It does a bit of a spin as it comes back down neatly in your hands. I'm weight's this. weight's pretty it? nice, yeah. Uh, how much? That's a good question. Let me figure that out real quick. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. All right. Uh, yeah. So you'll uh, you'll catch it as it falls back down and ask him how much. Uh, he'll kind of think for a second, looking at it, and say, uh, "That with roughly fifteen rounds of slugs uh, should run you about two thousand gold." Okay, but can you give me double the ammo? Uh, you could oh, always oh, buy oh, more oh. ammo if you'd like. Yes. Give me double the ammo and just tell me the price. Double the ammo would put it to 2200. Wonderful. I'll pay you that much and however the fuck much you want for some extra revolver bullets. Some revolver bullets, too, yeah. So you'll pay him for the shotgun, so go ahead and add a uh, long barrel uh, shotgun yeah, um, or whatever. How did it do the damage? Like, does it add anything? Like, dex mod? So or? it'll add your dex mod, yeah. So if you go to the guns mega sheet, it's just the classic long barrel. And yeah, I'm looking at that. I'm not that. entirely yeah. sure. Yeah, it's always dex mod for guns. Okay. Um, uh, and then make sure you're proficient with shotguns before you add any of that. Should be down in your proficiencies tab if you have it or not. Uh, no, I don't have any guns. Does that, what is that, like, related to? You should have some guns. What's your class? Your... Sorcerer. Cleric. Sorcerer. Both. Cleric. Uh, if you're a multi-class and a cleric, you have it. Cleric is guns. Oh, okay. I'll just get fucking... Yeah. Weapon scatter weapons. I, don't think I, I know because shit. I have the good boy. Pog. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm proficient then. Cool. Uh, yeah, um, and then. Using slugs, I don't get scatter damage, right? That's correct, yes. No scatter damage for okay. slugs. Uh, if you had a buckshot, you would. Otherwise, no. So, in this case, you do not. Um, buckshot also pushes your range to uh, 40, 80. Yeah, I know. So, keep that in mind. And you said you wanted a revolver, ammo two. Yeah, he is. Uh, he sells. He'll walk over back to his desk. Um, <clears throat> How much slugs am I getting again? 30? Uh, so, originally you were getting 15, so double would be 30, yes. Yeah, okay. And then that's two per, well, two per load, basically. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, he sells revolver ammo in uh, six bullet increments. Um, I'll take each, ten. You should take, you should take ten. Okay. Uh, you, you would just have to buy twelve. He doesn't sell just ten. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like, I meant like ten. Oh, uh, ten of those. Oh, okay. I got you. So, sixty. Holy shit. I can't see. That's cool. Sixty. Wow. That's going to be expensive. Hold on. Let me calculate. Is that so you want? Wait, before, before, ten before of them, I say this, how much? How much is one plat again? How much is one plat? It's ten. Ten gold. Uh, <laughs> each six rounds is fifty gold a pop. So that is what five hundred? Yeah, so five hundred gold for ten. I. Ten sets of that. I can I can do that for sure. Okay, so I've got six loaded and maths. Okay, got it. Right, and for the slugs, how much was that all costing me? The shotgun too. Uh, 
Uh, that was all 2200 altogether. So that's lots of money. Lots of money. Lots of money. L O D S O M. I'm actually I'm actually stupid right now. How much platinum? Lots of money. Uh, 2200 gold would be. Fucking hell. Let's see. 22 divided by 10. 220. Yeah, I can do that. I'm literally rich. Okay. Okay. So you load up on ammo. All right, uh, and then everybody else here. What are you guys searching for? Sash wanting to buy. So, uh, he'll turn oh, his yeah. gaze at everybody else and say, "And everybody else here, still have many right. more things." Do you buy a box? I'm sorry. Do I buy what? Do My uh, hearing's a bit high. <laughs> he just looks at you blankly. <laughs> Right. Do you buy or buy exchange? Do I buy? As in buy other guns? Yes. Oh, uh, it depends on the quality of the gun. Well, it's not primarily why I'm here, but I'm giving it a shot to see if it interests you. I pull out uh, the revolver that I nicked off a cartel man a few days previously. Which I believe is just, it's just a That's just standard. a default revolver, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a purely interesting gun. No, yeah, no, it's no, a little, no, it's no. a little nicked, it's a little fucked up. Um, but it's still perfectly workable. <clears throat> he'll, uh, kind of feebly grab it, his his arm's kind of shaking. Uh, he'll kind of look it over. And say, Shoot straight. No, it's nothing special, though. Ah, uh, yes. This is a classic Model 1. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I could give you... Mm, considering the wear, 200 gold. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Sure, so he'll give you 200 gold. Um, you can choose I to have, have that in platinum or not. That's up to you. I will put that in platinum. So that's two <clears throat> platinum. No, wait, 200. Nope. 20 platinum. That's 20 platinum. Yes. That's 200 platinum. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 200 platinum. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Stonks, baby. <laughs> All right. And uh, after that, he'll say, anything else for you, young man? Yes, I was wondering what long-range options you'd have available. Bolt action, preferably. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what you're... Okay, all right. Oh, uh, yeah, so he'll, uh, he'll kind of nod and then slowly walk his way over to another uh, display. Um, and you see it's it's all rifles. Um, I like rifles. Very nice rifles. One of the things that Jewel has been known for over the years is um, they're not the first ones to have made guns, but they're the first ones to have kind of mastered uh, rifles. Um, especially hunting rifles. There's a lot of very dangerous wildlife. So it's actually one of the few places where guns have been uh, quite the necessity in some places. Um, so rifles have... Jewel definitely has the like the best in terms of uh, rifles currently that you guys know of. I'd um, imagine they're a lot like Adam and Giselle's. Very personalized. Yeah, yeah. Made. A lot of marksmen's, a lot of hunts, hunting rifles, stuff like that. Um, nothing quite like AKs or anything like that, obviously, but a lot of good, yeah. like, single shot, bolt actions. You know, that's kind of the, the wheelhouse. <clears throat> um, ta -ta -ta -ta. So, yeah, he will show you. Uh, he has a couple of different rifles. They're all mostly marksman rifles. Um, go ahead and roll if you'd like perception, just to get a general okay. idea. <clears throat> See if you can call out the quality of them a bit. <clears throat> 13? Okay. Um, put some bullet. They're not the fanciest ones you've seen. Um, some of them do have a little bit of engraving on them, but it's nothing crazy. Um, as you're looking, Wheelock will actually point to one of them and uh, say to you, that one right there is a uh, prestige gun. Good stuff. Yeah. Good to see we're already getting out in the shops. Well, now I have a preference. <laughs> yeah, so it's a prestige rifle. It's actually the one that has a bit of engraving on it. Um, your typical wooden stock, uh, gunmetal gray. Uh, the stock itself has the engravings on it. Um, you notice a very finely uh, made uh, P logo with a circle around it and like thorns and stuff <laughs> coming around it. Um, yeah, it, it looks like a pretty nice rifle, all things considered. 
So yeah, uh, you'll point that one out, and he'll he'll grab it and, and hand it to you for you to check weight, balance, and all that stuff. I move it around a bit and do you know a function check. Yeah. Make sure it's not gonna fucking explode in my hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very clean, very well made. Uh, it's you know it's what you'd expect from Prestige. So. I seem quite happy with it. Yeah. <clears throat> He'll look to that one and say, uh, if you're interested, that one will be 1,500 gold. Okay. Just and that, one more question. Okay, go ahead. What's the capacity? It can hold... Let me check. I believe it's four per mag. Yeah. Uh, uh, four per mag. And it comes with a total of three mags. Yeah. That will work wonderfully. Okay. So you will hand over 1,500 gold or platinum, whatever. Whatever the... Okay. It would be 150 platinum, I believe. Um, I will remove 150 platinum. Yeah. So you now have a uh, prestige marksman rifle with a total of three magazines, one of which... Or three extra magazines, I should say. One's complimentary, obviously. Um, and those are all four per mag... So I'll let you do that math and all that. And uh, as you buy it, we'll up with you and say, I might be a little biased, but good pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ain't nothing better than a golden rider repping his own brand. And he'll uh, kind of chuckle holding his revolver. Uh, which you notice does not seem to be a prestige gun. <laughs> Uh, you've actually, you've, you've been somewhat curious about his gun because it's, it's powerful, but it seems like it's almost like a prototype because he's constantly like shaking it after he shoots because it like heats up really quick. Um, Does it, I feel like it's sort of like a fucking first testing or first try of one of their production efforts, like before could they be. even made the trades. Could be, I don't you could always ask him, I mean he's, you know. All that, but well, it's, it's, it's definitely interesting. You. Hey! <laughs> I'm so fucking eager to tell you. I you love to tell you about the world. I love it. We love it, boys. Yeah, I give him a fucking ask. I say, hey, I mean, that's not got any prestige logos on it, right? I always thought it was like a custom build you did. That's because it is. Yeah. It's uh, based off of some prestige models, but they didn't want to make a gun so uh, big for some of their first models, so. That took some of their frameworks and just uh, embiggened them, as they say. It uh, has a little bit of heating problems, but uh, I can also put a little magic in it, which is always fun. Well, it's a beautiful piece. Thank you. Maybe one of these days I'll make you one. That would be fucking amazing. Also, I'm sorry, Walter, if you're out of character, I seem to have started a class riot. Oh! Nice. Uh, fix my sword. Gun is good. Armor is good. Shield is good. I peek. Wait, what's name too, bro? How much? What? What are you talking about? I wish to bribe you to get to level twenty, bro. Oh. Uh. Seven nuclear bombs and a uh, moon base. I'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> How many nuclear bombs do I have in metal here? <laughs> All right. Did you want to do anything else uh, for heal, or you wanna? You happy with no, your, with your pull? I All right, who else was here? Was it? Uh, yeah, he'll he'll nod to you and walk back to his his desk. Who else was here? It's a Kirby. Sure, That's he'll it. look to you as you walk in and say, "And how can I help you?" Uh, do you have some the, uh, some shotguns which has a bit more ammo capacity than two, uh, like a trench gun? I'm afraid I don't have any of those, no. Those are more Lamian models. Ah, okay. But, then uh, I take only a couple of rounds of revolver ammunition. Sure, so it's 50 per 6, so however many you want. Just, uh... I take uh, 3. 3, okay. So then that's 150 gold. Yep. Beautiful. Alright. Senna picks up like, wait, you got any smoke grenades? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not familiar with the term. Never mind, just my fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Willock will also go ahead and buy some 
revolver, ammo. Not familiar with the Senna term. is now considering how to yet. make a patent on that. <laughs> Not familiar with the term yet. It's true. In due time. In due time, my friend. What if I just actually patent smoke grenades and, and then. Well, you'd have to fight some people. No. Nah. Just because he's not aware of them doesn't mean they don't exist. Fuck is a patent. <laughs> I believe it was a general in the World War? Yes. Something like that. And the tank. And the tank, yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Hands are. Alright, so gunshot <laughs> stuff done. Um, before we move on to. Uh, did you want to do anything, Higher Pan, or were you just kind of chilling? Nah, I'm just vibing, bro. Okay, so before we move on to Rhett, I will say to all of you, um, it kind of comes to mind now as, as you're all kind of out and about doing your thing. Ever since you guys got to El Barqua, uh, and actually a little bit before, uh, she's been acting weird, but especially now, you have not seen Candace at all. Oh, no. Just oh, yeah. She's, I think uh, there was fucking lightning outside. Yeah, she, she, you haven't seen her. I mean, when you guys have been doing stuff, she's been kind of staying in the caravan. Uh, she's been in a lot of pain with her arm. Um, but now, especially, you have not seen her. I'm going to go check up on her. Sure. Uh, where do you want to go? Because you... Likely the caravan, honestly. Sure. Actually, can head where, towards where was the... she last? Didn't she follow us into the casino? She did not. Then she caravan was the caravan, yeah. So you led to the caravanossary. Um... It's a bit of a walk. It's kind of on the outskirts of town. Um, but you eventually get there. Um, you see this kind of like somewhat Alamo looking building. Um, not very big. It has some outbuildings that are like the basically where people would stay. Um, you do see the caravan, um, all the different uh, drow riders lounging about, doing a little bit of work, playing some death rolling, stuff like that. Um, I'm not surprised. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they doing what they play. do. <laughs> um, you do not see Candace. Uh, I'm gonna ask one of the writers if they saw Candace walk off anytime. Sure, you walk up to one. Uh, what do you What do you say? What do you do? Hello, friend. Have you seen a robotic fellow walk off? Hello, friend. Roughly, roughly this size. Uh, kind of a dick. But are you talking about the uh, the woman? Yes. Yes. I, 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 I guess. She uh. Pale one, the the black hair. Sure. <laughs> Do you remember what she looks like? <laughs> I could send you out a whole fucking monkey chase this time around. That'd be funny. Uh. <laughs> hey, she left when I we mean, got the image here. Is black and white. The image is black and white. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. Well, she yeah, she's yeah. Um, she left a while ago. She didn't say anything. She just kind of left, holding her arm. You, you know any fucking direction? Where she went off to? Uh, or... Towards the city, amigo, I don't know. Okay, but like where towards the city? Uh, perhaps towards uh, downtown. I'm not too familiar with this place, to be honest with you. Uh, all right. And then I just walk off downtown sure. direction. Okay. Go ahead and roll a, um, I guess an investigation check. See if you can get any like clues as to where she might be. Yes. Holy shit, yeah. I literally, I, I have her scent. I'm a dog. Um... As you start walking away from the caravan, you actually see, coming from your wagon, just these little splotches of... some black substance. Just kind of leading oh, no. away. Um, hey, that's bad. Yeah, so you, you follow the trail. Um, did anybody else go with her, by the way, or was it just her that went? Are you guys still all chilling? I chill. Okay. You know, was, Let's see how far the message cantrip actually goes. Um, creature within range 120 feet. Not very okay. far for a city. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Definitely not too far. Do I pass? Do I pass by the gun store where everyone is currently? Or like? Um, just pass by the group. I'll say you you pass within like a couple of blocks. You don't exactly pass by the gun store, but you're you're within a couple blocks for sure. Mm -hmm. So 120 feet, but that reach, because I know it's just a general direction. They it can go through uh, solid objects if I know the target and I know they're there. 
Uh, generally, I don't think it would, but I'm not going to be too much of a hard ass on this. I'll say it can go ahead and, and reach. Uh, I generally whoever gonna, you want it to reach. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point you. roughly at the direction of a heal because I know he's somewhere there, mm -hmm. and this can go through solid walls. It says that, so I'm just gonna do it. Sure. Uh, and say like, currently looking for Candace. Uh, following a black trail. We'll see each other soon. Wait. So you he... just hear that in your head. Have fun. If the recipient doesn't have a message, they can't reply, right? Oh no, they they can. They, they can, can reply. It sets up like a link. Hey, I just want you to know when you do that, it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> so you me now. What is the last part? Like warn me somehow? But I can't. I can't warn you unless I'm doing this. <laughs> you, can, you can warn my going, Damn. HELLO! <laughs> this is a message! We'll find each other soon. <laughs> Give me a warning for the warning. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> message <Gana>. incoming! <laughs> you got mail. You got mail. <laughs> Here you go! I want to read, read some. Song. Just Santa doing a shitty beat. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's funny. That's really yeah, I'm funny. back on the trail then. Sure. Uh, yeah, so you get that message field. Do you do anything with it? Or you just, uh, relax and... Uh, well, who's with me? Just Wheelock and... It's Wheelock, oh, you, and Karagoon. Uh, yeah. Santa just invaded my team. She's looking for Candace somewhere. Uh... Okay, I was away. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, yeah, Santa did that mind message oh, in okay. the brain shit. Uh, she's looking for what's her face, Candace. She'll see us soon. Sh should we help her or what should we do? I think she's good. She didn't mention that she needed any assist. Yeah, I thought so. She isn't the type that need help. Um. Well, that's debatable, but... <laughs> I, only if I yeah, don't get one Yeah, well, yeah. It's debatable, yeah, you're right. I forgot. <laughs> so, if I get one shot, I need help, yeah. Then don't get one shot. <laughs> Fucking... Uh, I'm sorry, Burby, it's sound logic. <laughs> Just don't get hurt. Don't Just die. die. Just yeah. don't die. Do <laughs> Stop being ill. <laughs> so should we go go back to the casino, or what? I mean, I'm not the I'm not the tourist type of person who wanders around the city and goes in into every uh, uh, store and says, "Oh, what nice things." That's not me. Uh, speaking of tourism and nice things, uh, well, it's good coffee in this city. It's dual after all. Oh, coffee. There's good awesome. food out here, too. Folks know how to eat. You got some stuff well, to eat. Oh, well, I love to eat. I don't know how it'll hit this uh, little elven boy's uh, palate, but Dragonborn food is some of the best, if you ask me. Oh, no, I have to try it. <laughs> to get that little elven boy <laughs> out of the mind. <laughs> All right, yes, you guys will go get some food then. How's that? <laughs> Let's say you guys go to get some kebabs or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so you continue on the trail. Um, it's a little hard to follow at times. Um, mixes with different like oil uh, splotches from cars and stuff, but it's still generally followable, especially with that roll. Um, you eventually find yourself to what looks like a um, another bazaar. Um, you kind of lose the trail in the bazaar. Um, Fuck. But you can go ahead and look around and. Uh, I'm gonna go ask some people. Sure. Hey, did you. I walk up to a, a, just a vendor who sells, I don't know, apples. Uh, salted apples! Come get your salted apples! Salted apples. What? Salted apples aside, have you seen uh, no, a woman about apples. this tall? Uh, likely bleeding some black liquid? I don't know, I'm just following a trail here. Uh, you walk past here somewhere? Did you want to buy some salted apples last? <laughs> if you can give me an answer, I'll buy one, fine. Who are you looking for again? 
Uh, woman we'll, tall. He'll take some of your money and then give you a salted apple. Yeah, woman <laughs> tall, bleeding some black liquid. Hard to miss, I'd, I'd argue. Holding her arm, too, it's, it's something's wounded there. What race? The show Dragonborn! You can have a hard time if she was a Dragonborn. Well, All over the place. It looks like, looks like a human isn't a human. Looks like a human and isn't... Are you? You, you wouldn't be able to tell. I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but they look like a human, okay? Oh, okay. I've seen a few humans in and out, yes. Uh, uh, one passed by, uh, I don't know, an hour or so ago. I don't know where she would be, but she was around here. Maybe go check some of the uh, stalls further in, some of the jewelry stalls, you know. I know, I know women like you love jewelry, so perhaps you'll yeah, find her over I, there. I, I, I'd, I'd imagine that wouldn't be the first thing on her mind on the stage she's in. Um, you got any, like, mechanics or something in the city? Mechanics? Ah, yes, but no, not in the bazaar exactly. Other places. Uh, that's fine. Where? Uh, more on the eastern side of the city. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, hard to name exact ones, but uh, yes, there's, there's a few out there. There's a few out there. Okay, fuck the trail and go to the mechanics. She has to be there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, you leave the trail. Um, the man will give you a name of just one of the most popular mechanic shops, basically. Um, so you'll head that way. Uh, you head inside Jimmy Lube. Fuck it, why not? Um, <laughs> it's the Jiffy Lube. We'll just do Jimmy Lube. There you go. Um... <laughs> You'll walk into this, uh, this large building, uh, large garages on the side, some vehicles getting worked on in there. Uh, thick smell of like oil and, and gasoline and you know different metallic mm -hmm. smells. Um, lots of noise, very noisy over here. Um, you walk into the little like service area. Uh, and you see you know, opening the doors, walking in. Some people kind of chilling, waiting for their vehicles to be uh, finished. Um, the receptionist there. Kind of a younger guy wearing uh, overalls and all that. He looks at you and says, uh, Welcome to Jimmy Lube. Um, do you have, what, what vehicle do you have? What's your problem? Uh, not actually a vehicle. I'm asking about a person. Um, Her? They have, okay. a, they have some circuitry and metal in their arms. Have they come by here? Have they asked you to fix them up? Have you seen anyone like that bleeding something black, like oil? Can't say I have. We only uh, fix cars. Okay, but you've seen that person, right? Mm, doesn't sound familiar now. Didn't you just say, yes, I have? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm. Ap apologies. Uh, never heard of someone with metal in their arms, but uh, no, we haven't run into anybody like that today. You sure? Not like a tall woman, kind of intimidating looking? Human? No, definitely not human. We haven't seen any humans. I mean, from his position, does he have any good view of, like, the street? Yeah, he can see out the windows. Hmm. Maybe he just didn't pay attention. Good I'll day. check the other stores. Okay. You'll head to the uh, other mechanic shops. Um, you get the same responses from them. No, they haven't seen anybody like that. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the market. <laughs> yeah, why, yeah, why did you get off the trail of blood? <laughs> because what? I'm arguing that she would go to a fucking mechanic if she's obviously wounded and needs a mechanic to fix her. And I'm going, going to get a drink. She's on literally leaving a trail. Like, involuntarily. Yes, I'm gonna go back and find that trail again. Yeah. Or watch the road that one across. <laughs> Did anyone want a drink? I'm going to the fridge. Yes, I want a Hawaiian punch. Please. Can I get a Fanta? What was that? 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 Fanta. Okay. For me too? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so two Fantas, one Hawaiian punch, and I'm, I'm gonna get like some sort of water. Oh, can you bring me a Welsh cake too? Fuck yes. Oh my uh, god, you have a single somewhere. ice cube. Thank you. Do you have, a, do you have big Texas cinnamon rolls? <laughs> I have, you have some Texas large Texas cinnamon rolls. It's the off-ramp, but it still tastes about the same. I'll work with it. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Uh, 
Ah, ah, ah. Alright, so yeah, you head back to the market. The trail is still there. Uh, you're able to follow okay. deeper into the market. Um, it does seem to stop at some jewelry stores. Okay. Um, at this I, point, I, it I seems to have moved on. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, go ahead and roll a little investigation as you start to get into like the middle of the bizarre area. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the trail continues uh, actually out of the bazaar. Um, out into kind of like a little little more scummy area. Uh, a little dirtier. Uh, but it is in the general direction of the mechanic shop. So you're actually kind of backtracking a little bit. Um, huh. But eventually, just outside of like a junkyard area, uh, you see Candace just kind of sitting down on the, uh, the sidewalk. Just kind of looking forward. Um, she does have I'm some, gonna... some jewelry that she's looking at. I'm gonna hop up to her. Okay. Hello, Candace. What the fuck are you doing here? Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. What? Yeah, so did you. Why did you just leave without telling? Am I not allowed to go on my own places? Yes, you are, but, like, just leave a note or something. We thought yeah. you died. I just followed a trail of black liquid here. What's wrong with you? Like, are you bleeding? She kind of gingerly put her arm out a bit and you'll see that she's definitely bleeding uh, some sort of oil. Okay, uh, but why has this started just now? I don't know. It was just originally that my arm hurt a lot. And now I think I might have bumped it or something on the ride and it's been doing this and she kind of puts her hand against it and kind of smears it and tries to stop it. Doesn't really do much. Hmm. And she'll be like, motherfucker! Run out ah! of that? Um, I would imagine I'd die. That's bad. <laughs> oh no. Um. Yeah, you're telling me. This whole thing's been kind of bad. Hmm. Damn, I don't know, man. It sounds like Crystal knows okay. someone in Zyda that could help, but. Yeah, Zyda's... but we gotta get there first. Yeah. Uh, is there anything I could, like, do to. Stop that temporarily? Like, I don't know. Burn it Roll shut. a medicine check. Okay. I will do that instead. I'm poop. Fuck. Past just general, you know, wrapping it up, bandaging kind of stuff. You can't think of anything. Not even, like, actually setting fire to oil before you just make her arm explode. Um, yeah. <laughs> That is the God. That yeah, so I would definitely gonna, have that thought. One hundred percent. Yeah, my idea was just like to, to burn the wound shut, because like I can just take. You're gonna cauter together, but you can't cauterize metal. I know, I she is that. made of metal. <laughs> you might as well just weld her shut. You fucking <laughs> muck. Exactly. The welding is just Goddamn. cauterizing for robots. <laughs> 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 <It's just laughs> <a robot. laughs> But, like, oh, there's oh yeah, son of the master welder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my okay. God. Wait, so why are you out of the junkyard? I don't know. It's just. Uh... It's not the prettiest place, but it reminds me a little bit of home. Why does it remind you of home? Because it's fucking dead robotics here? Not necessarily. It's just like a tech junk area. I used to scavenge uh, for gun parts and put them together from these places. You find okay, good stuff in those areas. Sense. This one doesn't have anything that interesting, but... Uh, don't you don't happen to need a power recharge, do you? No, I've got that well in handled. It's just okay. this fucking arm. Fuck. Or don't you have any, like, self-repair mechanisms? Something like that? I would have if I was still in Oak of home. What is that linked to, anyway? What do you mean? Like, if you can't repair yourself while you're here, instead of whatever that city is, why? Did, like, your functionality break, or what happened? I don't come with self-repair. I would just go to a repair shop. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you come with self-repair? It's just gonna cause more cost. I come with self repair for like AI issues, but 
actual frame issues, you always go to someone, like, some sort of chop shop or something. I guess. There was a good one I mean, in Okobo. I've seen a few mechanics line, here. I mean, there's mechanics, maybe they but... Can, yeah, maybe, could, they can, maybe they can do something. Just temporarily fix it before we can go to Zyda. Maybe. Yeah. Just to stop you from bleeding out, you know? What are you going to do? Go in there and say, hey, fix my robot friend. And they're just going to be like, yeah, sure. Yes, actually. I mean, they said they'd just do cars, but you're similar to a car, aren't you? <laughs> She'll just kind of glare at you. <laughs> look, I, actually, no. She doesn't glare at you. She just gives you look like, this fucking bitch. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not a dumb bitch. Here. Just... You both work on machinery and stuff, so I was thinking... I promise you, the car... What you guys call cars out here are far more uh, rudimental than what I am. I don't know if yeah. the same things quite apply. I mean... I just think the faster we get to Zyda, the better. With how your arm's looking, I'm pretty uncertain if we can actually get that blade back on there. Yeah. This is just me, a, an amateur talking, so I don't know. Yeah. In a perfect world, I would just get new blades and so on. That is true. But again, I'm stuck here. So. Yes, you are. Um, can't do that. Doesn't our. Doesn't that elephant man have, like, some mending spell? Wouldn't that work? Are you intentionally racist, or does it just happen? No. It, 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 and, and, technically speaking, I respect you as a human being, but you're not. I'm not a human a being! Robot. Precisely, so oh, wouldn't it fix you? Racist. Technically. Straight racist. I mean, you are made of materials. You're not organic, so... Thank you for the work. reminder. Hey, I mean, I respect you as a person. Well, how the hell would you know I have mending? You haven't seen me use mending. <laughs> <laughs> you metagaming bitch. <laughs> I oh, thought I did. Fuck. Didn't oh, you use oh, it, like, shit. past the cave again? That was, like, yeah. the last time I remember where you just mended, like, a water skin. And that was back in Castle. No, no, that was back in the fucking crystal cave where we first found the fuck. You were fucking, fucking... I fucking know, but have you used it? Yeah. Have you used it since then? Uh, uh when a uh, blight fire boy came, I fixed my rope. Well, shit, dude. You were plant. Hey, there's I no mean, way you okay. Can... Well, then I'm just gonna assume. Bad, bad meta gamer. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's that's my bad. Senna's just gonna assume that probably a cleric has some sort of menu so. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> No, no. I've already said it. How are we gonna? I'm gonna get a backtrack. Like, oh man. I mean, we can ignore the assumption. Whatever. Yeah. Either way, mechanics should like do something. But whatever, we'll just leave it be until Zyda. Uh, I'll just, just wrap it up and hope that Crystal's not. Full of shit. I doubt the my my child is full of shit, honestly. Your child? Yes. He's he's very cute. You can like mix bullets into cereal and it adds like a whole new range of emotions. Anyway, uh yeah. I mean we were Captain asked ATF. at a gun stop and I mean we could just take you back there. Yeah. Back to this group, yeah. Work. If you want to go and rest up, I wouldn't do it like at a junkyard. People might look at you weird. Uh, I'll go back to the caravan. Okay. I just wanted to get some fresh air. As fresh as it can be in this fucking desert. Wait, do you need to breathe? Well, yeah. Well, I don't need to, but it's nice to. Okay. And then you just walk off. <laughs> okay. You'll hear her mutter, what a weird fucking bitch, as you walk away. <laughs> oh, shit. All right! Nemrat and Crystal! What are you guys up to? 
Uh, well, first we're going to go to look at stores. Sure, and what kind of stores are you looking at? I fucking, you know, fucking, you know, a trinket. It's magical wares, things that make me trust like that. Sure, so you'll head to one of the many uh, bizarre markets in the, in this city. Are you looking for trinkets, you said? All right. Trunkets. Trunkets, trinkets, trinkets, trunkets. Trambles. That's Trumpets. the one. Don't ever talk to me like that again. I swear to God, I will hit you within an inch of your life. Birdie, I like birds. What? I like birds. What they do now? <laughs> I just messaged him about a commission. And he said, I took a holiday rest, and I'm so fucking relaxed, and so fucking ready to come back strong. He's motivated. <laughs> Jesus Fuck. Christ. All right, so yeah, so you'll head to one of these, uh... Holiday. What is... <laughs> Christmas. Yes, it's August. Long. Yeah, it's Christmas. Oh. So he's Spanish. He doesn't know, he doesn't know English. Hmm. Uh, so you'll head into one of the bizarre markets, um... Go ahead and roll me a one, two, three, four. I'm gonna D six, right? See, see what kind of shop you head to. Four. That would be an alchemist. Okay. It's a very lucky number, I tells you. <laughs> uh, you're in a different bazaar, but you see the familiar. Uh, a uh, gypsy cart of uh, of large Marge and her potions. Uh, it's it's sitting oh, there. No. <laughs> it's, you can go back if you wanted to. <laughs> Why would you ever want to? Because <laughs> no, the best I, potion. Or you can roll again. <laughs> I, I would like to roll again. I All right, go for it. I roll slash R one D what now D five? Nah, still D six. One. That is a trading post. Okay. Wait. Bartering? Oh my god. So you see a, uh, another cart. Um, very f nice looking cart. Wooden with these golden, like, gilded windows and all these things. Um, windows gilded. Windows gilded, yep. Um, and a, a dragonborn trader who is uh, chilling there, sitting down on a, on a cushion, looking around. Not really calling out to anybody, just kind of giving people looks. You know, he doesn't seem too worried about everything, so. Uh, Crystal is has his eyes on quite a few things over there. He's kind of looking, kind of turning his head, looking at him. Yeah, let's head over there. Yeah, you guys head over there. Uh, as you head up, he'll look at you and say, Would you like to buy some some wares? I have all sorts of items here. Let's see what you got. Sure. Um... And roll perception check to see what you find. I'm rolling uh, perception check to see what I find. Perception. I'm such a wise motherfucker indeed. So wise. Hold on, let me see if I can get a. There's a really good shop generator I had, and I don't know where the fuck it went. Modafuka. Okay, what'd you roll? 22, okay. Um, so yeah, so you see a number of things. Um, he does have a fair amount of potions. Um, none of them look curiously sourced. Uh, um, and he has... Uh, what well, looks like a dagger, um, a war pick, um, some very beautiful uh, leather boots with a lot of different uh, carvings into them. You can see this, the, uh, the carvings are arcane in nature. Um, there is a staff. Looks pretty battered. Um, but you also see some uh, inscriptions in it. Uh, here's a couple of spell scrolls. And that is about it that you see. I want to ask him about the boots to start with. Let's be honest. 
you yes, like. yes, these boots, uh, I found them from, uh, an unfortunate soul in the burning sands. Uh, I didn't want to use them too much myself, but I definitely felt like I could, uh, run almost forever. That's not fighting, that's looting. <laughs> All's fair. <laughs> I have a feeling they uh, might have something to do with stamina or speed. <laughs> Jesus, I think it's stupid. Just wait, just wait. Just look at me for a minute, right? I'm not it's looking at you. I refuse. This stupid motherfucker will just put stamina boots in a campaign <laughs> that I'm in. <laughs> Egghead. Allegedly. Okay, allegedly. So he says allegedly, yeah? No, I say allegedly. Oh, you're saying that they allegedly are stamina boots, basically? Allegedly. Oh, that's right. He felt like he could fucking run ten times the miles. All right, let me ask him this. Uh, how, how much for him? Uh, let's see. I could probably part with these for mm, three thousand gold. That's fucking. That's peanuts, dude. I want to. Can I roll on that? Uh, uh, let me ask him this. Can I? Can I see him real quick? I wanna, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just want to investigate. Look at. Him. You may hold them. So, no. I want to see if they're magical. Okay, roll an arcana check. I want to roll. It's going to be low because my arcana. Watch me, not 20. They're fucking oh, basic ass oh. boots. Yeah, always. Always. They <laughs> fucking terrible. They are very, very beautiful boots. They are very beautiful they're boots, but you know beautiful. what? Here's what else I want to do. I want to roll. They, seem, they seem to have wings kind of engraved in on them. Oh, fascinating. Can I can I see if can I roll like a perception to see if it's clearly like knife marks in the boots to be fucking you know like he put it in there to make it look magical kind of shit. I would say roll an inside check on that. Yeah. I'm much more wisdomic than I am arcane, and even then it's not by much. This looks like whoever created these boots, whether leather work or whatever, definitely did this. Like this was a design made specifically for these boots. I know, and I say 3,000 gold. Now let me ask you this, right? For every one, every 10 gold, there is one platinum. Yes, in terms of the conversion. I'm asking, well. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So it would roughly equate to about 300 platinum. Correct. Yes. Hello. All right. Now he said this Wait, was a trade. Wait, what? I thought it was 300 gold. No, 3,000 gold. Oh, okay. So. What I now wish to do is I wish to barter with this. Okay. So I say 3,000 gold for some boots that allegedly seem to work. You, you would have to understand. You'd have to understand how, why, why I would be skeptical of this. I'm not asking to try them on anything at this point. It's would it with 3,000 to have some boots plucked from a dead man in the desert be a wise choice? Surely you can, surely you can understand lower the price. <laughs> it's a pretty okay. okay Roll so persuasion check. <laughs> out, of character, out of character, that's a pretty persuading. You know, let's be honest. We'll see what the dice roll. Why would you ever do it? <laughs> Quite honestly, considering everything I went through to get them, I think three thousand is a bit of a steal. <laughs> Suck me ten times in a month. <laughs> oh, Look at this guy trying to find. Okay, but out of character, man. That's pretty persuasive. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. You're not low. Get the fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> oh, oh, get the fuck out of here. Fucking leave it up to persuasion. It's almost like we're playing a fucking dice rolling game. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's gay, he says. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay, beautiful okay. boots. I think three thousand is quite the steal. 
Rata fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll come away from that for a, 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 and ask about these magic scrolls you got going on over here. What are what are these about? Sure. I have. Uh, let's see here. This one's for a spell called Alter Self. This one's for a spell called Grease. This one is for uh, protection. That's why would you want a spell that just puts an oil slick on the floor? Just spill a bottle of oil. The Viv, you fool. It's not Grease the spell, it's Grease the location. It, to teleport. Oh, no, it's actually fuck. Grease the movie. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest, baby when, I in the you say that, when I heard, first heard you say Grease, I thought of comb and slick back hair. Hey! But then I was like, no, the place is better. Nah, the place um, is pretty shit, honestly. Nah, it looks pretty cool as well. <laughs> 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 Okay, just, uh, I don't fucking, you know, uh, the campaign can't be kept on me. Fuck it, just give me the boots. 3,000, 300 gold on. Okay, you get 3,000 gold. Whatever, yeah, yeah I just get sure. out. Okay, you now have boots of speed. You can look that up in the compendium and see what they do. Oh, they're actually real hard. While you wear these boots, you can use a bonus action and click the boots' heels together. If you do, the boots double your walking speed, and any creature that makes an opportunity attack against you has a disadvantage on the attack roll. Hey, it's on me. Well, let's be honest. Right <laughs> Come on. I... Come on. Only works for ten minutes, though, and then you have to take a long rest before it uh, activates again. Hey, that's beyond enough. That's a guaranteed hard fight in my favor. While you wear these boots, you choose a bonus action. The boots. If you do the boots, double your walk. Does that mean that I'll be able to go to, I don't know, uh, 60 meters for the price of 30? That's correct. Okay. And so now when I dash, it's 120 meters. Oh, no. That's correct. I am already have an invisible ring. <laughs> Crystal's gonna Crystal's gonna try and uh, and grab one of the boots from you. Just one of them. <laughs> this is how we nerf him. <laughs> you only get one. Oh shit. <laughs> Do you let yeah, him grab no. one? Uh, you are. You know I don't want to. You know I do, and I don't. Want to. <laughs> it's up to you. I'll let him, I, I'll, I'll tell him this. I'll be like, oh, you want? Yeah, dude, you can have a look. But, um, at some point. He I grabs it and puts it on his head. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? I, I, say, I say to him, <laughs> as he does that, listen, yo, I gotta get those back at some point, all right? Ha! Uh, for now, yes. You know what? <laughs> dude, we'll, we'll, we'll cut the difference. I take off the boot hat. And I give him the top hat, and I say, "Oh, whoa, okay." I what say, is... "Okay, now like the hat can be whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. We'll switch out every once in a while, okay?" Oh my God, human rat! His his eyes widen as he seemingly realizes what's on his head, and he turns it into a fly swatter hat. <laughs> well, Django is a freeze, freeze, freeze. <laughs> And he just starts turning his head so they all start clacking together. <laughs> Good work with this. Honestly, I hear it and I feel at ease. I feel fine. <laughs> I don't feel that. I take both the shoes and I put them on my feet and I walk sure. around and get used to the feet. Um, do they, uh, do they need attunement? Yeah, they need attunement. Um, so part of your, part of your, so they won't take effect until you take a long rest and kind of spend a little bit of time to attune to them. I believe it's like two hours or so. So. Currently, well, they're just boots. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, in, in game, basically. You could technically take like a short rest and a little extra if you wanted to really pull it off. 
at this point. Do it actually as soon as humanly sure. possible. All right, do you want to keep Why shopping? Do? There's still more places here. Um, what other places do I see? Uh, you see a weaponsmith and a scribe, and of course the uh, the alchemist large marge is still in the area. So. No, I've held this up, and uh, I'm just gonna go to the and do that short rest into the boots thing. Sure. So you head back to the uh, result. Um, cool. All right. Fahil, Katagoon, and Wheelock. And I guess Senna will also pull up uh, at some point. But you guys start off. Uh, you head to a uh, another bazaar. There's bazaars all over the place. Um, this one has a lot of, of food merchants and stuff. You see a lot of different uh, uh, food vendors. Um, the smell is fucking heavenly as you guys walk in. Um, roasted meats. I mean, you can just... It, it smells so good. Wheelock and... Like, Willock will immediately take a deep breath and just be like, ah, smells like home, don't it? Well, no. Yeah. Well, not for you. Well, yeah, we were, <laughs> we were talking to you. My apologies. I, sometimes <laughs> I forget you're over there. My apologies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> for here, what do you reckon? We should get some kebabs, maybe? Oh, yeah, try? definitely kebabs. All right, let's go on over here. He'll, uh, he'll walk up to one of the... One of the guys and buy everybody kebabs. Um, there was this place that used to do really, really great lab kebabs. And I used to go there like every fucking week. It's a shame that place broke down. You got any chicken nuggets? Instead <laughs> <laughs> of walks up and asks you guys that. Well, I've got to turn to you like, no, right sorry. Santa, you're from. You're kind of an elf. How, how does how does uh, how does Dragonborn food usually hit your palate? Eh. Interesting. Here you go. Uh, like what's your name, Cat? Caragoon or something? Yeah, yeah. You try this out. I'll hand you a kebab. Caragoon or something. It's up to you whether you like it or not. <laughs> I will leave it to you. It is a nice. A nice good meat kebab. It has some roasted onion. Has some roasted bell peppers. Quick question: What's the uh, normal kitchen in Casbar? Uh, um, there's a lot of. Um, it's basically like a mix of British and American food, mostly. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, before I. Uh, kind of bland the... in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> Before I bite into the kebab, I ask um, Wheelock, do you have anything against elves or, sub or humans? Personally, I think... Uh, well, that's a bit of a deep question, ain't it? I don't have anything against them per se. You know, there's issues between our countries and stuff. But yes. I like to judge people based off their character, not their uh, race or skin. I find that's a much better uh, way of doing things. Wish other Julians would uh, look at things the same way. That's pretty nice. And I bite into the kebab thing. Yeah. The meat is juicy. The bell pepper kind of snaps. The onion adds just a little bit of bitterness to it. Uh, mm. up, up to you whether you like it or not. <laughs> I don't love it, but yeah, it tastes all right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, a lot of flavors. There's a lot of flavors together. Yeah. Uh, you see Wheelock and Fahil just going to town. They like they look so happy with their food. Um, <laughs> Fahil hasn't eaten anything like this in, in quite honestly about you know ten or eleven years. I mean you know yeah, been true. to the border towns around the border of Jewel that sort of get it right, but not exactly. You know, it, it's, it's like Taco Bell is to Mexican food. It's passable, but exactly. it's not the same. It's not. It's the same. not the real thing. It's just not the same. The meat's probably questionably sourced. The mm. bell peppers, they're just not the right type. You know, it's just not snappy enough. You know. Yeah, the horn peppers. There's not enough spice in it. That's the one thing that bothers you the most. There's never enough spice on the stuff. Exactly. I want to die when I taste it. Yes. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you guys do that. Uh, you guys will also get some coffee that we will all pay for. Um, if you like coffee, it's it's very powerful coffee. Uh, I, very. I take no coffee. <laughs> you take no coffee. All right, Senna, do you take coffee? 
Like I said, you got any chicken nuggets and apple apple juice? <laughs> 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 We were yeah, just gonna, to like, family, like, right? like mid chew. He's gonna look at you and just kind of give you a look, like, "Are you kidding me?" And then just keep chewing and ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> I just turn around, like, "Look, buddy, I have specific taste." <laughs> you sound like you're a damn yeah, you child. Like Maybe I am. Fuck you. It would explain a lot about you, honestly. Okay. Yeah, that would actually make sense. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, sure. So at this point, I'll say, with all the shopping and all that done, uh, it's probably gotten to about three o'clock. About three hours have passed. Um, it is currently fall, so the sun. I always forget as the sun. Do we lose an hour in fall or do we gain an hour? We lose an hour in fall, right? We lose. Fall back, spring forward. Yes, thank you. Uh, so yeah, so the sun's starting to get to the horizon. Uh, big ass blazing sun coming down, uh, setting behind the uh, Sarab Mountains. Um, at this point, I'll say everybody wanders back to the casino. Um, <clears throat> Rhett, obviously you have been attuning uh, for the past two hours or so. So at this point, you are attuned to those boots. Um, are you attuned to anything else? Do you know? I think, yeah. Because okay. you can only attune to three things at a time, so I just want to make sure that we're not going over limits or anything. Yeah, let me see. Is there, like, a place I would have on my thing for it? I don't think they have it anywhere. I think you just kind of have to put it down in your notes or something on the bio tab. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the rest of the stuff... No, you know what? I didn't attune to anything else. The rest of the stuff is stuff I have proficiencies with. That's it. That's... Okay. Uh, I will make that rule now. If you have like stuff that's tuned, go into your bio thing, um, down towards the bottom. I think there's or a treasure or something. Just put in there that you're you have this and you're attuned to it, type shit. Just so we can keep that uh, in mind for future stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, you guys will all meet back there. Um, I guess in the in in the little. Uh, so you guys will walk into this building. Um. The lobby area is pretty big. It's got some couches, some seating, uh, some fountains, uh, a number of TVs, which is... Is there a chocolate fountain? There's not a chocolate fountain. I'm sorry. God damn it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of advertisements for the buffet. <laughs> there's no chocolate fountain. <laughs> I am um, immediately going to get a fucking buffet pamphlet and just looking at what's, what they got. Sure. They so have... Do you get food plates? You get two plates because I'm getting two. Plates. No, I'm I'm not a fucking disgusting individual. I'm going after. I'm not I am a disgusting people. individual. Okay. Let's I'm do glad this. Just... Let me look up a sample buffet menu. Mm. Uh, seafood. There's all kinds of seafood. What kind of seafood is in the middle of the fucking desert? Salmon with horseradish crust. Uh, Shrimp uh, scampi style with artichoke hearts. Ooh, interesting. Uh, baked halibut, roasted tomatoes. Yes! Oh, yeah. Miso, yes! miso, miso marinated black cod over braised baby bok choy. Why do you got a fucking... What are you doing to Bashar? Calm down. I thought that was you making that up. I thought you made that up. Honestly. Macadamia and crusted Chilean sea bass with mango lime sauce and a oh, Chilean oh, of Asian oh, vegetables. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Uh, chicken! That. There is a stuffed breast of capon... Capon, capon, with roasted Cap shallots. Um, let's see. Hudson Valley. What the fuck is Hudson? Hudson Valley chicken with caramelized apples. This is less it's, of a buffet menu. It's more of a fucking restaurant. What the fuck? It is a restaurant. Whatever. Meats. Whole roasted filet mignon carved to order with wild mushroom sauce. It's wild, boy. Yes, I'm taking it. Fajita marinated flap steak with a tomato. Flap steak, that's funny, I like that. With a whole fucking tomato. Whole grilled New York strip shape. St st strip <laughs> steak. Slice awesome. order with roasted portobello mushrooms. Oh, What's yeah. that? Pasta station. Penne pasta. Oh, put oh good lord. Putanesca with plum potato. Plum tomatoes, not potatoes. Plum potatoes. <laughs> Wild mushroom ravioli with prosciutto. Okay. 
I'm just picking some of these. Side dishes. Choose one from each category. Uh, mini twice baked roasted red potatoes with sour cream and chives. Uh, wild mushroom risotto with truffle oil. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is rich enough for this area. Uh, potato gratin with Parmesan cheese and caramelized onion. Onion. Uh, roasted asparagus and baby carrots with garlic and thyme. Assorted grilled vegetables with pesto and uh, reduced balsamic vinegar. And what's the last one here? We'll fucking, we'll do, uh, we'll do uh, roasted turnips. How's that? Oh, thank God. I'm going for that fucking scampi. Okay. Shit, you guys just want to do a dinner? <laughs> we can do that. That's fine. Actually, I want to fight. I want to fucking fight. Yeah. Yeah, so at this point, yeah, you guys will all come together. Uh, I guess it's time for you guys to start deliberating what you're going to do. I'm going to get some water. You guys fucking go ahead. How dare you, you drink, what's bitch. Happen. See what kind of room is planning is for that situation. So what the fuck is the plan? So oh, I can explain it to you on a meta level or in-game. That's what... What do you want? On the meta level, because the character is supposed to generally understand how Okay. On a meta level, it's basically you distract Ash. You so my character. Water. I love wine. My character is. I'm uh, back. My character can alter his appearance. I would distract the uh, two goons of hers with a waiter, uh, something like this. Go outside. Something is wrong with their motorcycles, I don't know. I would join them uh, disguised as Ash and say them that the coup fa uh, failed, they doubling up the guards and they should um, go to the bikes, uh, drive uh, forward and uh, she, Ash, so me, will catch up eventually. Uh, something like that. I would go with anything Will gives me at this point then. What's going on? Someone <laughs> <Just laughs> <got that. laughs> didn't fucking listen. <laughs> I wasn't here. I need to explain the plan basically to the policy. Oh, okay. Basically, only uh, I'm doing a big deception. Big deception. Yeah, you could uh, definitely go for that. With my species advantages. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are good at deception, huh? Right. Uh, yeah, you could definitely run something like that for sure. If you wanted to uh, try and deceive, um, the, what would everybody else be doing? But I, I'm open for other ideas. Fight is also nice. Yeah, I mean, you guys can do whatever you want in this situation. I I feel like we should be prepared to fuck shit up if it like a backup plan if shit fails. Yeah. We can try just doing it sneaky. But well, if uh, my deception doesn't uh, go well, I'm still disguised as Ash, so they are mad at Ash and not at us. Hmm. Th this You're gonna disguise plan can't, I like it. That, that plan can't backfire on us. True, true. I mean, unless we get spotted somehow, or like Ash finds out, then we're kind of fucked. Yeah. Nah. The fuck, nah. Samson? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Hold well, on, I gotta make... I forgot some characters I had to make. Shit. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. So basically, your plan is to disguise as Ash. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Uh, so uh, disguise as Ash, talk to her goons away from her, and uh, convince them that um, the robbery is cancelled because doubling up got something I can imagine of, and tell them they should drive off to the next city, and I catch uh, so Ash uh, catch, catches up to them. Okay. So that Ash stands there without uh, any human assets. So you would have to have someone pull Ash away from the group then, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to take up that mantle? I'll just bully her until she fucking <laughs> pissed with me. 
<laughs> Your hair is white. <laughs> you are a long forehead, bitch. <laughs> That's funny. Strange teeth have an ass, bitch. Fucking walk stand for bitch. Oh, bastard. Yeah. That's the one right there. Skin tone, shaking bone, leave me alone, Edda. Alright. Well, it sounds like Seto wants to take up the uh, distractioning part of things. <laughs> um, well, yeah. just don't have the goons follow you. It's true. Uh, so, as we go ahead and. Um, unless anybody else wants to add in anything or do anything. Uh, go ahead and start deploying what? it. Senna, it's, uh, floor is yours. Fuck. How are you gonna, are you gonna handle this? <laughs> the first what? stage is up to the feet. <laughs> what? That's not what I copied. That's just a test. It's still broken. I haven't set it up yet. That's okay. What? That's not what I copied. I don't know. Genome full what? blown mono monochrome Indiana Jones, leave me alone, head ass. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna come up to Ash and just say that and see she... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, get to it! Let me see it! Let's see this performance right now! Go for it. So, yeah, so you'll head outside. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll say about 3 o'clock, maybe 4 o'clock. Um, they're all chilling by their bikes again. Um, the jovial tone that they had the, uh, the earlier has kind of changed. They seem to be in a bit more of a serious, more hushed uh, conversation now. Uh, as you saunter up, uh, well, floor is yours. How about it? Hello, Ash. Uh, Howdy. How's it, how, how's it looking? Uh, it's looking clear. Looking like a good night for some trouble. Looking Clearly. <laughs> well, uh, Senna just looks up at the sky. <laughs> I guess it is clear, isn't it? <laughs> yeah! You're, Actually, uh... I spot one cloud just there. You fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> you lied. You lied to me. It's not clear at all. How dare you? <laughs> what a deception <laughs> check! <laughs> is that the deception? Because it is very clear. There's not a single cloud in the sky. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I don't know if I... You know what? Yeah. I guess there is a cloud there. Really? Look again. I don't think there's a cloud right there. I think I like it. <laughs> Down. I like to you, bitch. No way. No! Can I, can I help you? What's, uh... I'm not here to talk about weather. I got something important to, to get rid of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a drink. Some... You want to get a drink? Yeah. Are you? Wait, wait. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? You said the mixed message. Wait. <laughs> wait, I need to flip a coin for something very important here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I mean, that I'm flattered, but I don't really swing that way, Senna. I knew it. I fucking knew it. It was heads. <laughs> it was oh, heads. <laughs> So no, so no Dave? Uh... So no hat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... No. I'll take you up on a free drink, but I don't know about a, a date, per se. Uh, sure, I'll, 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 give, I'll give you... I, whatever... What, what kind of drink you want? <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. this is so awkward! <laughs> Uh, this is great. Just go already. Uh, it's, like, it's like that part from Undertale that made me want to kill myself. <laughs> oh, you know, the, the, the shitty date thing, but like worse. I mean, not I'm not too picky with my alcohol. How about like a? I like a good whiskey. Like a gold, how about a, like a 200 gold bottle of champagne? Champagne's kind of. I mean, no offense it's... to you, but it's kind of static to taste. Okay, I get it. Yep, whatever. Uh, we can't really buy important drinks here, because they got them all banned. Mm -hmm. Fucking shit, shit town, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. Especially anyway, being the daughter of a bartender. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, 
I mean, you wanna go? You wanna go celebrate up front? Because I know you're gonna do well, aren't you? <laughs> it just sounds like you're asking her out on a date. <laughs> I am. That's the point. He said I am. Roll <laughs> persuasion check. <laughs> She's in love. This thing says psycho. She's so strong. It's definitely awkward. You're fumbling over your words. Uh, <laughs> which oddly <laughs> enough is kind of helping your case. Because it's kind of endearing. Like, okay. She'll just kind of look to the group and be like, uh, sure. Why don't we, uh, yeah, we could, we could go. Celebrate, I guess. He's just trying not to fucking laugh, but I think he... <laughs> <laughs> If anybody's watching this, by the way, hilarious, fucking hilarious display. You are watching. Time, yeah, you are watching Senna just fucking bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell! No, no, I haven't been here the whole time. I haven't noticed anything that's been <laughs> You can I've tell Ash kind of feels bad for her. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. how, how expensive is the most expensive bottle of champagne in this fucking casino? Fucking, it's a hundred gold, bro. It's that's shit, like too. Flat, right? It's that's shit, like but they will flat, sell it to you. That's like, yep. 10, that's like 10 flat, right? Yeah, so higher fare, the, the entire time this has been going on, keep in mind, this has been like hours. Uh, mm -hmm. You've just been like at the bar, uh, drinking the, the entire bottle of this shit champagne. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna say that. Wait, yeah. how many, oh god, how, how long does it take to drink champ a bottle of champagne? As long as you want to. A full, a full bottle? Yeah. The better question is how fast did you drink it? Are you trying to be drunk? Yeah. Probably not really, and like slightly fast-ish, kinda not. You can't drink champagne fast and not get drunk. Come on, me, is it? Doesn't champagne have like a low alcohol by volume? Mm -hmm. or, or am I thinking of another C word? You might be thinking of something else. Shit, bro. So champagne isn't hard like whiskey, but yeah, it's not champagne hard. will get you drunk off your ass way yeah, past the it, it, like... it ain't. It ain't soft. Champagne is usually about. Like a glass of champagne is close to 12% by volume. Yeah, 12 oh. to 15. That's not too bad. Okay, he's only had one bottle, not two. That would be fucking irresponsible. A whole fucking bottle will tear you up, but you okay? Bro, <laughs> look, man, it's all about I, I body weight. Well, he's yeah, used to vodka, too. Weight. Hierophant weighs, like, how much do I fucking weigh? 216. No, wait, that's his age. No, that was his, by his age. He's 333 pounds, bro. Oh, wow. That's heavy, bro. That's a heavy boy. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, you can tell Ash kind of feels bad for you. <laughs> yes, pity. This, this seems like, yeah, like, you're, as bad as it is, you're kind of selling it well because it's kind of that, like, oh, God, oh, shit, you know. Uh, she'll she'll kind of, she'll look to her and be like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, we could, yeah, let, let's go celebrate. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let, let's go as on. long as you're paying. I am, yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Sure. Boys, I'll uh, keep getting the plans together. And uh, then we fall. wander off to the fucking bar. Sure. <laughs> Congratulations, you're on a date. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> keep the dating music. And also, <laughs> you can thank me. Okay. Um, so yeah, whoever's watching, you see uh, the two of them walk off. Uh, what happens next is up to you guys. I'll for leave it in your I, hands. For me, I wait a quarter an hour, so 15 minutes. Sure. Then go in a, into a shady spot so nobody can see me and, so, and transform myself into Ash. Okay. Yeah. Um. So your mask it's it's like a perfect replica, right? Like the mask is yeah. just yeah. Okay. Per it's spot on. Okay. Yeah. So you uh, transmogrify into uh, the likeness of Ash. Um. Does it pick up the voice, or is that something that you just have to consciously do? Um. Wait. It does that. It does that. It, it does that. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. Voice too. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. So you are, by all accounts, you are Ash. 
sound. I look myself into the nearest mir mirror, inspect my creation. Yeah. White hair, pale skin, kind of a bitchy look on her face. Definitely looks like Ash. I want to hit myself. Yeah, it's her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I walk up to the the goons. Sure. With an angry, angry look on my face. A little bit. Okay. Theatrical. As you walk up, uh, some of them look to you and you, you hear one of them say, uh, Hey boss, I thought you were doing that uh, little walk along with that drow girl. Yeah, well, you, you saw it. It was out of pity. I yeah, her. she was uh, struggling yeah. that one. Poor thing. Yeah. Good lord. But I, when I walked back here, I overheard the conversation about the casino doubling up their guards tonight. Oh. Is that so? Yeah. Okay. Well, how's that change plans? So, you know the the guards here. They are heavily armed, and we are what eight or something. I don't know. I, I would thought, say... I thought they were lightly armed. That's what you said earlier. Oh, I can't oh. take... <laughs> Fucking yeah. Well, they're stocking up on weapons too, so they're now heavily armed. Think, when they're stocking up... When they're doubling up guards, don't you think they're doubling up on weapons? Do, oh, we know why, do we know why they're doubling up? I don't know. If they got, got snivelled our plan, or... I heard that they caught more people cheating on the roulette tables and something like that and that they're to better overwatch the whole place i don't know i say it's a too big risk for us and i say in the next city of let me take a look of at this uh I real quick do not be uh, the designer holy shit da, 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 no. da. Oh, yeah. thank you <clears throat> uh wait it's rendering uh in the city of uh safma safma yeah safma <laughs> It's it's a capital, right? That is the capital, yes. Yeah, it's first of all it's a capital, so there are more more valuable targets than this um, casino. So I would say, we right there. Right, but then we got to deal uh, with the Julians in that case, and they're a lot more. I mean, you'd want to talk about heavily armed. I'm gonna say at this point before you respond. Uh... I'm going to need you to roll a either persuasion or deception um, as a very large uh, robotic figure kind of walks over and the eye. Oh, no. Some, some of, some of the, the four eyes kind of narrow looking at you. I will say because of your race, you will have advantage on this, but you need to roll higher than 20. I roll deception. Oh fucking hell, I don't want to die! You need, you need to be the 20, because Bob is staring you down right now. Oh, it's Bob, look at it's Bob. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> oh shit! He loves me! Wow! Holy fucking okay! Holy fucking shit! Comes from you. That's amazing. Okay, awesome! Holy fucking shit! I walk up to him and say, Hey Bob, how's it going? No, 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 no. The the, eye, the okay. eyes will unnarrow and he'll kind of like he'll kind of like chirp at you. <laughs> yeah, something like that. He seems he seems to buy it pretty quick. And everybody's like, yeah. Um, the guy that's been talking to you, he'll he'll look to you again and say, "All right, boss. Well, I don't know. I mean, we brought Bob out for this. If you think we can't take him even with Bob, huh? well, think of that. If you have Bob, so we can." Do anything in Safma. Yeah. And I say it's a it's a casino in Safma. There are more casinos. It's a capital, so. Right, but this one's and... so. Like this one's so rich. There's no but regulations out here. Yeah, but don't forget who's running this casino. It's a Baxi. I'm not scared when of a, a fucking. I'm not scared of a Tommy. You can send him back to his fucking country for all I care. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Man, but if a, if a fucking Tabaxi can run a casino, a, a real good casino like this, he has has to have some tricks. Well, they are known to be pretty deceitful. Well, I don't. Uh, yeah, deceitful, but other violent more tricks too. I say, re ride. 
They all kind of look around and kind of mutter amongst themselves before the guy uh, speaks up again and says, All right, fellas! Ash's orders! We ride! Mount up! And they'll, uh... I catch up start to you. Start mounting up on their bikes! Yeah. I, catch, I catch up to you. I have to... Wait a second. English sets out. Florian, uh, unsere mm -hmm. Spuren, unsere Spuren verwischen. Uh, Cover up our tracks. Yeah. Trails. Not tracks, you're right. Yeah, tracks, tracks right. right. All right, well, uh, be careful out here. We'll meet you over in, uh, in South, I guess. Yeah. Go All right. right. Yeah, they'll load up on their bikes and, uh, engines start going, and they'll, uh, Head out with some shouts and yee and shit like that and get going. <laughs> On the road again with them. As soon as they're out of view, I go back to my shady spot and change back to Karagu. So what the fuck do I do with Ash? <laughs> At the same problem. time, so before you do, I will say Bob is still here. Oh, Bob is still here. Oh, oh, Bob, Bob has not left. Oh, God. Oh, Bob is riding with Ash. Bob oh. is with you, yeah. Oh, oh that's... God, oh, fuck. Oh, that's... Right. <laughs> so you have this gigantic fucking bot behind you. Little Who loves little, me? Little, little hat on his head. He's, he's following you yeah. around. He thinks you're Ash, yeah? He's just oh. chilling with you. <laughs> Fuck, I did pound with... <laughs> what do I do with this? Uh, he is... Like, he fucking towers above you. He's a big fucking boy. Um, well, he's anybody who would have, have seen Ash and Pale Grove before, um, if you guys are outside looking, you'll see that Bob has definitely been souped up too. It looks like he's like he's bigger than he was before. There's been some work done on that boy. So uh, it, it looks like he was ready to go. <laughs> he's got these weapons I, on him. He's good to go. If I want to hack him or overwrite his code, what? Must I roll? Just the Ooh, theoretically. That's a good question. You know what? Let me take a look. Oh, um, deactivate him in the first place. What if, what if you just steal Bob? Yeah, that's my that's my idea. I think uh, probably just a straight intelligence check, honestly. I want to ask everyone in the party who is the biggest intelligence spark, but I'm Ash. Mm -hmm. uh, to um, hack him so he's deactivated or to most practically haywire him. I'll say it depends on the quality of the roll. Okay. Well, fuck. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I have to. Okay, that's that must be good enough. Um, Bernie, if you think I'm not making I, I... role play this date out, by the way. Got bad news oh. for you. I got bad <laughs> news for you. Get some dating music. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get some fucking Frank Sinatra in the bot. Let's get it going. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you made this bed. You're gonna fucking sleep in it. <laughs> uh, if you my luck, it's gonna be with her. Hey! Good thing my my fucking 14 hours of honey pop experience are gonna get me through this. <laughs> I, just gotta, I, just gotta, I just gotta match, just I just gotta match, match the them. bubbles, bro. Just match them up. I, I, match have, the I, have, I, have, I have 69, and I'm pretty sure 66 of those were actual gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> the other three were, Haha, wouldn't it be so funny if I idled this for another few hours? So I, I think I did the same numbers? shit, yeah, but I think I was like you 65. You idled it for way longer. No, I, I played until like 65, and then I idled it. Did you? Yeah, because I only had like a couple left. I was like, I'm done playing this. I'm just going to idle it. Because yeah, I idled it in one night. You did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm. that game is a bitch to 100. Oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. That fucking achievement to fucking not upgrade and that other achievement to fucking fucking do it all in like a month? What the God, fuck there's so many fuck? restarts involved. It's so gay. It's so fucking bad, dude. Now we're gonna do it for two. <laughs> and two is gonna come out, so help me God. I believe. Anyway, yeah, we're playing D&D. &D. Yeah, <laughs> really? No. I've got an idea how to go it uh, I walk up to Bob. D and dating simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and dating. There hasn't been a dragon yet, technically. Dragons and dating. Oh no. <laughs> My name's fuck Guy Fieri. Fuck Welcome fuck to fuck Dungeons, that, Dragons, and Dives. What's that stupid fucking furry game? The Angel with the Scaly Wings. Don't bro? don't even remember. What? Right? Well, which one? Mind. 
Major uh, Minor? <laughs> no! No, I don't he doesn't have dragons. Um, I don't beat that game. Well, yeah, there, there was like, there was someone like a uh, fucking Jason effects or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like a, a dragon dating simulator. Bye. Oh, no. Dragon dating simulator. Well. Bye. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Question, I'm glad. Matt. Matt says, are you a furry? No. Thank fucking God. You know what? He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Yo, clap it up for him. Clap it up for him. He's a fucking keeper. We love Mattis out here, but we love him. We love Mattis. What a great guy. What a guy, bro. Let me tell you. What a fucking guy. Thank fuck. A little bit overwhelmed, but thank you. You'll be fine. It's fine. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, do you know his address? I'm gonna send him an award in the next <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pass that to me too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him some stuff too. <laughs> Brody, Brody knows my social com my social co competence, so... Uh-oh. <laughs> What's your opinion on mail bombs? What? 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 Doesn't work. Manus, how do you feel about Italian revolvers being sent to your address? You have some Italian nice. revolvers? I Aren't have it. I've got the Unica 6. Bitch, fuck you got my me? address. Fucking send me one. Fuck yeah. He only has one, though. Honestly, genuinely. I'll buy him a real revolver. Oh, Actually, shit. Actually, do you know what? That's, that's a deal, dude. With United States import law, I could send you a pre-1899 revolver in the mail. What? Oh, hell no. Yeah, I, I genuinely- I will look into that. That's fucked. Will, I love and hate your country at, at the same time. Wow, you sound like an American! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He said hate. I love and hate. If, 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 if it's done with How anything many, like American, look, you would name hate, an American uh, over the age oh, of 22 that isn't her. propagandizing and loving every aspect of this shithole. Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sure Joe Biden. Yeah, man. He has a lot. Hey, Dandy boys, what's going on with oh, Bob? No, He's no, looking no. at you. No, it's oh, yeah. Joe. <laughs> Joe. 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 Joe Bobbin. I have some paint.net things to do. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. We love it. We love it so much. All right. Yeah, so Bob's still chilling with you. Yeah. Um, I say, hey there, big man. You've got some wires sticking out of your back. Care to turn around? Roll a persuasion, Jack. Ah, well, oh. hmm, hold on. Because he did buy, yeah, no, he'll, he'll turn around. He, he bought your disguise pretty, I mean, you fucking critted on it, so yeah. I hope there's a, a hatch or something that I could access. So yeah, he'll, he'll turn around. Um, number one, he's a good three, four feet taller than you. Um, Can you down? I'm a lady. If you ask him, I probably will, yeah. Um, he's wearing a pretty thick, like, leather coat. Yeah, Got some uh, fur on the on the collar. Um, do you ask him to, to kneel down a bit? Yeah. Okay. Bob, you know I'm much smaller. You, uh, I don't know his name. Fucking hell. You know I'm much smaller than you. He'll, uh, Can you kneel down? He'll do a little robotic chuckle, and he'll uh, kneel down on one, on one knee. Right. <laughs> 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 Shit like that. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I want him. I love him. Let me fuck him up real quick. I love him though. God, I love him. And <laughs> he's my favorite. I, be I begin to search for a maintenance hatch or something like that on this. Okay. Uh, so here's where. Okay, go ahead and roll intelligence now at this point. Oh please! I want him. <laughs> I want him. <laughs> I want him. <laughs> Jackpot! Oh, fuck oh yeah. God! <laughs> Man, oh. he's a big old metal boy. That's for damn sure. Senna, my friend. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a good playlist. All right, so throw it in and put it on. Let's go. Oh, 
Let's fucking go, I'll be cooing <laughs> I'm going to try something to cut this short because I do not want to suffer through it. <laughs> Would it be possible to roll a constitution throw that I specifically try and fail so that I throw up on the spot? <laughs> Oh, I can't take my eyes off you. Oh, yeah, please. Oh, my God. Oh, hey! my God. Yeah. That's oh, fucking God. it. So, where are you guys? You guys going to the buffet? You going to the casino? Where are you going? We're going to the bar. Going to the bar. At the bar. No sure, you'll no no lead her over there and she'll kind of... <laughs> You're like fucking shaking. You're so fucking terrified <laughs> of this shit. I am. <laughs> like, She's kind of looking around. around like... Wait, I'm, Wait, I'm what? not even Thank into you. girls. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just here, like, pretending I'm Hi, a fan. You're chilling at the bar. You look over, kind of in a stupor, and see Senna. Looks like she's, like, dying. She looks like she's... Good lord. And you see Ash behind her just smirking. She's enjoying the fact that Senna's just fucking dying right now. She's really, she's really enjoying it. I just thought about how alcohol works. Yo, Hierophant's fucking tolerance would be nutty. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> he's, he's heavy as fuck. He drinks vodka with all the fucking time. I need a flask, but instead of whiskey, it's potato juice. Yeah, man. But yeah, you see that. Uh, <laughs> I, need that. I need that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as you're walking over there, Asher will look to you and say, uh, "What's the matter? You cold?" I mean, it's a desert. It's it's pretty warm in here. It, it's supposed to just. I've never been around a pretty lady such as you. <laughs> 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 You're fucking gay, yes, sir! Roll a fucking. I uh, fucking. Roll a persuasion check, bro. See if you catch her with it. Ooh, ah, not bad! Ooh, not bad! Yeah. She'll kinda. Oh, she'll she'll, oh. <laughs> she'll kinda smile and she'll say, Yeah, you sure are lucky, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> sure are lucky, aren't you? Neither of these people are gay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, you guys sit down at the bar. Uh, at this point, you can see higher fans here. Uh, he might shoot you some glances, who knows. I just kind of... Uh, I, I hear that one line, and I, um... <laughs> I hear that line, and I just... I look up to the sky. I question. I question why it is I've been brought on this, this, holy, this holy mission here, with all the visions and the Hestia's Hestia's blessings. After decades of service, oh, no. I finally get some insane powers. <laughs> I, you know, it, and it seems to be sort of a sign for the, the, this journey in particular. And I just, I just think to myself. Oh my god, Brit! Oh my god! Holy shit! I love this is the best kind of torture for a player! <laughs> Fuck killing your character! I'm just gonna torture you this way! <laughs> I know one day this will happen to me, but I am oh enjoying god. it every moment that it's not. <laughs> We're gonna make you seduce your sister, you bitch. What the get... fuck? Whoa! Oh, so you said, what the fuck? That <laughs> is incest! <laughs> what the fuck? It's Bye! Bye! <laughs> it's a friend. It's a friend. Uh, hey, hey, you're seducing a sister. I, I shall sit down at the bar and look to you, just kind of waiting for you to, to order. Uh, two of your best whiskey. Double for me. <laughs> Double shots. Me. Yeah, I'm that Dutch courage. Two shots, please. Uh, the bartender will, will kind of walk over and say, uh, I'm so sorry. We uh, don't sell whiskey. Prohibition what, and all that. What do you sell? What do you sell? Yeah, hard we have uh, all sorts of uh, waters, beers, uh, sodas, champagnes. Uh, nothing hard, though, unfortunately. Really? Uh, what's your like hardest beer? I guess. Uh, I don't know. What's hard for a beer? <laughs> I don't know. Just some... help. I don't know how to help. Okay, like not okay, I'll good. make it easy, I'll make it easy. Okay, if it has light in the name, it's not. Would a lager True. be hard? 
I guess. What is? Lager tends to be stronger. Like I think Lager can go up to like seven percent. Yeah. Then, 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 then. It's yeah. Levels. So, uh, yes, I have some lagers. I'll, I'll bring them right to you. Um, he brings over these big old bottles of, uh, of lager. Call I'm, just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just blushing like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Uh, I, sh I shall grab the uh, the bottle and then put it up to cheers with you. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Just to start drinking and say, "Well, I like your style about whiskey, but." Uh... I I'm just, like while she's talking to me, I'm just downing the entire bottle. Trying to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> she'll she'll kind of come on over there and be like, "Damn, you're really putting it down, aren't you?" Sure. <laughs> you might want to take a breath once in a while. Jesus Christ! One second. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! Oh, Baby! Hey! Welcome back. Yeah, she just kind of. Yeah, she just kind of marvels. She's like, You must have a pretty, uh. high tolerance. I'm just down and shit like that. Sure. <laughs> oh, all right then. I, I don't I don't drink a lot. I just mm. You don't drink a lot, but you're drinking right now. Are you nervous? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to be nervous, I understand. So take a drink. <laughs> this is killing me. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I'm so happy. This is great. It's horrible. You did this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna annoy her, and then, and then we started throwing out. <laughs> you <laughs> asked her out on a date, you dumb bitch. I needed to That's get her out of there. That's how it happened. So. <laughs> Holy I shit! Did, I did what had to be done. Oh I'll take man. This one for the team. Wink. It had to be done. Oh well, yeah. It's okay. Higher fans getting a great view of the train wreck right now. Sure. Oh, shit, he's getting entertainment. <laughs> Can I? Every time something like that happens, I'm gonna roll a con save, and if I get like a five or below, I'm gonna bust out laughing. That's fine. You can Did absolutely you do that. So I have a plus three. I can only roll a one or a two. <laughs> below a below a below a ten. There you go. Easier. <laughs> <laughs> It's been present right now, like. In the uh, if you want him to be, yeah. I uh, I'd say he walks in. I sort of like subtly point at Senna and Bernie, you know the fucking uh, Bond things in XCOM. Uh -huh. <laughs> when two fucking characters are bonded and they do that stupid motion to each other. Oh. <laughs> that he just he just points at Senna and does like a yeah, you got this action, but he's being completely sarcastic. His his facial expression is not giving you confidence. He's doing this to mock you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Uh, so you're just chilling. Um. I just keep looking up at her from like the. I'm just staring at the fucking bar, just like looking up at her. <laughs> she's just kind of looking at you, smirk, and she's enjoying every fucking minute of this. She's enjoying you squirming. It's she's. This is great entertainment to her. <laughs> so it's, it's like slightly sparks of like, uh, so, uh, what kind of music do you like? Wait, I can do like something here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do something here. I have to fucking. Oh, where would that be? Fuck. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nope, that's too far. Who the fuck is the story? The fuck is the name? Ah! Da -da -da. I had a really cool name for him. I don't remember what the fuck it was. No! Is there, like... Like a, someone managing the music here. In, in the casino? Yeah, there's like a DJ. Yeah. That's life! Oh, fuck hey! No. You see for heel slip tangled to the guy controlling the music. <laughs> I will get you for this. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember the name of it. Fuck it, band name generator, let's go. That's life. Some people get their gigs. I was lately in a musical from Frank Sinatra. It was pretty goddamn nice. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, it was lovely. Running his uh, life with his uh, greatest steps. And oh, all yeah. Of that. that was. And all the good songs. I'd love to see a fucking Sinatra trippy band live. Oh, yeah. Come on. All these names are garbage! Bruh! What's on my face? Just myself and get back in the rain. That's life. That's why. And I can't. That's why. That's why. My heart just ain't gonna buy it. If I did, if All right, that'll work. work. Yeah, she'll, uh, she'll kind of look to you and kind of laugh for a second. And say, uh, yeah, there's this uh, really good band down from Astoria. They're called the Book of Zombies. I like them. Pretty good. Wow. Little, uh, little, little tiefling band down there. Oops. Is this music danceable? I mean, if you consider mosh pits danceable, yeah. For, for reference, this is, uh, this is, uh, Garen's boyfriend's band. I was trying to find the name, because yeah. I, ha I had a name, but I couldn't find it, so we'll go with that. I'll write it down. The Book of Zombies. I mean, would you like to dance? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes! In her, in her headset, it's just like, <laughs> I hope they're fucking done soon. That, that deserves two. <laughs> that deserves two. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I take my time with now. Bob. Done. Uh, well, fuck. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, yeah, hire a fan. Just fucking. Someone say something really funny. <laughs> she she <laughs> asked her if she wants to dance with her. That's pretty funny. Yeah, but I need like something because now it's past, and I need something funny. But again, I, you want humor on Joe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The table pound and every no, not the table pound. It was only a nine. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna ask what he does. Yeah, he bursts out laughing. <laughs> Senna, you feel even more self-conscious as he does that. <laughs> Ash, Ash, kind of sit there for a second, kind of thinking about it, and looking over at Hierophant, laughing his ass off, and just say. You're pretty forward. All right, sure, let's go. Oh, <laughs> she'll, oh. she'll walk over to where the DJ's playing some fucking old tunes, oh. bro. The worst part is, Senna's <laughs> still fucking oblivious to the fact that everything's done already. <laughs> <laughs> You're just There's digging no your hole deeper. Anymore. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. You'll walk over to the dance floor. Um. Yeah, I asked the DJ, you, you got anything from Looks at Wrist? Book of Zombies? Brett, put in some Will Wood for me. You won't? <laughs> I you something. just go, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> okay, I will get you something that is not fucking danceable. Well, it's not <laughs> Oh my god. This is such a train wreck. I love it. Oh my, this is not how I thought this session would be going. Oh, this is great. I, I love it. Mass murder. <laughs> I did too. I had a whole encounter plan, but you know what? This is Sorry. better. This is so much I'm better. I have to skip through uh, a lot of shit. You can just clear the queue. Up. You can just press go to and then. No, yeah, you could do that too. But that's complicated. It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought this was going to be a bloodbath, and here we are doing fucking- We're having a fucking date, good lord. <laughs> Welcome to D&D, folks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> there it is! D yeah, he'll start playing! D&D. That's what it stands for. <laughs> oh. You see everybody else on the dance floor kind of clears out, and is like, what the fuck is this music? Uh, it's just hey, you two now. Hey, hey, I like this though. Hey, yeah. maybe some of the folks will be like, yeah, you know what? I'll fuck with this. Let's get it going. Yeah. Uh, 
I want it to be known that he really likes Garen's boyfriend's bone. Yeah. He could be the number one fan. Uh, roll a dex thing for your dancing, I guess. <laughs> See your fancy film work. Oh, yeah, performance, actually. That makes sense, yeah. Hey. Yeah, she, she, just start, she just starts getting to it, bro. Two nats, buddy. Let's go. Not be saved. Hey. Can I hire a fan play the bagpipes? I literally dance better than her to her music. What would you say, Ernie? Can you play the bagpipes? Can I? Yeah. Absolutely, bro. Oh, no, Hold on. We're all performance. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say I don't know this song, and I'm kind of slightly above buzz, so it's a disadvantage. Sure. Where no, I now? need to hit the bottom. Hey, this is not yeah. now. This is. My <laughs> friend gets kicked out of. The a... <laughs> falls out of his chair at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 gotta get to the bottom of this. Fucking punches a hole in the bagpipes. Has to use mending. Fucking fix it. Yeah. So you guys. <laughs> now you know I have mending. Yeah. 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 You guys just start dancing. You do a bit of a fuck. I don't know what the fuck would you dance to this. Fucking whatever, bro. I flamenco. Get to flamenco. it, dude. Flamenco. Let's go. Sure. Yeah. You guys start dancing, going back and forth. Um, the music's chaotic. There's some younger folks in here that are like, fuck yeah, bro. I'll we'll fuck with this. Um, no. Yeah. Ironically, this is the best part of the night for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. All right. Um, so that plays its course. You guys uh, do your dancing. Uh,. The smirk on her face, she's still, like, she's still enjoying that you're, I'm assuming you're still feeling pretty uncomfortable about everything. Kind of. Yeah. But I'm fucking vibing, so. You're vibing. She can kind of pick it up, and she's like, okay, yeah, you got some dancing, I see you. Um. Jesus Christ. I don't want to cut the song off early, so we'll let it keep going as you guys are dancing. Um. If at any point you want to make that vomit roll or anything, go for, go for it. <laughs> Or if you want to do anything else, if anybody else wants to do anything else while well, this is uh, going on. <laughs> it's like, too you much know that you not be dancing if it was not get off the gym. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey. I'd argue the only thing that would have to happen is at the end. The it's for the fucking, the fucking pinnacle of destruction. Oh god. Better attempt a kiss. <laughs> oh no. Let's fucking go. Oh no! What do I, I make you like roll for that? Does not even like woman. What do I have you roll for that? Oh Can boy. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Performance and persuasion both have to pass. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking just oh, charisma, yeah. honestly. Yeah, sure. What do I think about it? You gotta have the. No! Oh uh, no! So, no. as the music oh, turning its God. apex, she's starting to really feel it. And she's dancing around. Uh, you're not sure if it's a combination of just pure terror of not sure what to do and needing to distract. Uh, you've downed an entire thing of, of lager, so you're definitely tipsy. Uh, <laughs> the dance it just keeps going. We'll let the song play out, and then we'll, as the as the climax, we'll get that going. Hey, go! Gotta get to the bottom of this. Hey, 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 hey! Get to the bottom of this. Oh, oh! God, Sean is such a bummer. Hey, hey, sis, not enough. This is not enough. Not enough to prove it yet. Yeah. No, no, I need I to hate the power. I know. Hey, this is not. The DJ, by the way, looks very alarmed at this music. <laughs> this, like, middle aged woman DJing these, like, smooth jazz songs is like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Hey. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's a couple of like, young kids who are just fucking, they're feeling it, bro. They're like, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's that book of zombies? Fuck yeah, bro. Hey. 
the bottom. By the way, if I ever find the actual name that I had for the band, we're switching it back to that because it was a great name. I just have to find it again. It was such a great name. Book of Zombies is nice. We could turn that into a different band. That's not a big deal. Prove No, I need to hit the bottom. All right. <laughs> How's the song end, Senna? You're kind of tipsy. You kind of, whoa. You go in for a kiss. <laughs> well, you're bad. Uh, you try. Uh, and she, she just kind of stops you. She's like, nah, I, I still don't swing that way. But thanks for the dance. She said that thanks for the dance. So close. What a fucking Senna's first rejection. There you go. <laughs> You sure you don't want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm gonna head on out now. Okay. <laughs> she walks away. <laughs> um. I just, I just look over to fucking Ben and Hierophant and I'm just like... Hierophant's like <laughs> doubled over laughing right now. This completely blank expression just like... <laughs> you have a shit-eating grin. I mean, shit eating two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I slowly walk over to all of them. I, I just look at Fahil. Just save. Are we done here? Wow, look at you, you move operator. <laughs> ah, <fuck off. laughs> yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yeah, we're done here. Good. <laughs> just one if we've been done. Said it's kind of loud. <laughs> uh, higher event has been about six, seven, eight, nine minutes. Oh, are you guys yeah. the thing? Uh, good, good for job for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. That was a okay. That That entire reflect, that was a I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Ben is just mad now. Just gonna go back to the bar and get another drink. Sure. So Katagoon! Uh, yeah. you, you try to find a way to disable Bob. Uh, that was a four that you rolled for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Man. Uh, it's so fun being the DM sometimes, let me tell you. Yeah. I as, as, you're, as you're trying to figure out how to disable Bob... Fucking turns on and slaps you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you're, for the just small set, you're so frustrated, you let your mask uh -huh. fall. What? What? Uh, and wait, Bob turns around or... and looks at you. Uh, wait a second, fall or change? Uh, that's a good question. You know what? Roll me a, uh, what would that be? A constant, roll me a constitution save. Let's see if you, oh, if... if you go back or if you go back. You know what I mean? Uh, save or check? Uh, save. Please don't fall. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm you go back. You go back to Katagoon, Yeah. Oh, hell. But uh, your it's... relief is is very quickly stopped as Bob yeah. turns around and wraps his giant metal fist around your throat and lifts you up. <laughs> just uh, He's just for my pissed. Uh, my backup plan was doing the I'm I'm the real as she is the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter because you are currently being fucking. <laughs> you're being held by Bob and it's not too pleasant. Um. He could crush you in an instant. Um, and as okay. that happens, you hear uh, you hear Ash come out and say, "What the hell is this? Can I can I do a spell? Um, it would be very hard. It would be. Uh, I, w I want to dimension it, go out of there. Does that require? What does that require? What are the components for that? Verbal? Uh, is it verbal? You can't. Yeah, verbal. No, you can't. I can't. Yeah. Nope. You cannot. You can't, okay, like, no. you're, you can barely breathe. <laughs> he is, oh, like, fuck. choking you. He's ready to crush your windpipe. Uh, the only <laughs> component that matters in this campaign, and you can't do it. Okay. Well, uh, Bob can't talk, so... Um, he can uh, communicate, but he can't really bo uh, talk. Yeah. yeah, but he ca can't say that I'm <clears throat> lying. Uh, but I, I can't speak. Yeah? Well, Ash is just going to come out and look and be like, I what'd, you, what'd you find Ash here? That, I indicate, Ash, that this... Robot should let me down with my fingers and point on the floor. <laughs> As you're kind of struggling, like, ah! yeah. uh, she'll kind of, she'll just kind of glare at you for a second and look to Bob and kind of bump him with her elbow. And 
<laughs> You've been lifted about five feet off the ground, so you come tumbling oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> now, what'd you do to piss my friend Bob off over here? I don't know. I walked here. I, I checked. I, I thought I see some wire, wires sticking out of his back, so I wanted to help him, and he's just turning around and choking me to death. First and I'm foremost. Very con I'm very convincing. <laughs> Yeah, roll per actually roll persuasion check before she does anything. Persuasion or deception? Please. Uh, actually, dealer's choice, whichever one you prefer. Deception. <laughs> well, well. She kind of thinks for a second, her hand kind of hovers over um, what looks like a holster. And she kind of thinks, oh. she says, Bob doesn't normally get angry at someone unless they've done something to him. Now, if you were trying to, uh, fix him and uh well, bother him I'm, all that well not fix, just take a look i'm not a, i'm not i don't know how to fix this but i just then reported to you but i take took a look lift up his jacket or whatever that is and he just turned around i don't know if i she'll, she'll, his personal she'll face. kneel down to get kind of close and be like talking real fast are you worried about something well yeah you're real choked me to death almost yeah yeah hmm and it looks bad that you walk up and your robot is choking me well if you didn't mess with him he wouldn't have been doing that to you i guess you've learned a lesson don't touch my uh, no but he is a fine no. fine robot <laughs> yeah yeah very yeah. very she'll, friendly shut it up as you're talking just walk away and bobble follow her <laughs> um, I at least get her off to the bar. Yeah. So wasn't exactly the most pleasant experience for two of you, oh. but uh, by all accounts, you have stopped a robbery at the uh, Desert Jewel Casino. Let's it's go get <laughs> I just, I thought you would just go and rampage with Bob. Um. Yeah. She she goes over the bikes. She sees there's only one bike. And she kind of looks around, and she looks at Bob, and she'll look back to you, Katagun. Oh, I'm looking very. You can see, you can see she's gears are starting to turn. She's she's starting to put things together. As she looks I'm, around. I, I'm going. I'm on my way. Okay, <laughs> you just start <laughs> heading out. <laughs> I, I'm going to the crowd of people and just disappear. Sure. If necessary, ch change my appearance. I don't know. Fuck this. <laughs> All right. Where's everybody at right now? Uh, I'm just sitting at the park getting drunk because I want to get over that shit. <laughs> uh, Fahil is also at the bar and offers to pay for Santa's drink as a, okay, if this is genuine, we fucked you up. Sorry. <laughs> sort of thing. I turn around looking fucking for Fahil. Just grab his tail and pull it, and then. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. I'm higher. Price. That wasn't nice. Bro, 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 nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah. It was. Yeah, yeah, that's just a fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's uh, what are Rhett and uh, Crystal doing right now? Oh, we um, we just gonna hang out somewhere else, dude. Yeah, we switching room. Thank you. Doing this. I thought about it and thought I would take Crystal somewhere else because, you know, taking him near a spot where she's about to go down in any direction wasn't, you know, good. Yeah. Didn't need to see, so. You know, we've just been kind of mulling about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, after a little while, Wheelock will come into the bar and sit down next to you guys and say, <clears throat> well, I don't know what you did, but Ash was uh, having a bit of a fit out there. Looks like her, her boys have left. Well done. Well, uh, she doesn't like me, I, I think, anymore. If she liked me anyway. Yeah, she was saying something about skinning that elf boy. You might want to stay hidden for a while. Yeah. But as I long got as she didn't mention me. I got the job done. And I, I must say, this robot, I wanted him and I couldn't get him. Well, that is a mighty fine robot she's got, but... You tried to steal her robot. Yeah, I don't, no. I don't know how well that's gonna work. Never. Never. I, I wouldn't steal. 
And I would yeah, murder he people. With the fucking holster stolen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And I wouldn't murder people just out of fun, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not this fight, archaeologist. <laughs> well, I'm uh, not really sure how I'm gonna get payment for y'all because nothing really happened. But uh, good job nonetheless. Um, mm. What if we just go up to your boat, to the casino? Then <laughs> tell him we stopped a robbery, that there's no proof it's gonna happen. <laughs> Y'all did good! Y'all did good, but not exactly, uh, high payment worth, you know what I mean? Well, it was the fastest way. I don't the save a lot of blood, that's for sure. The other option was to stay the night and fight, which was... Which were longer, yes, much fun, but... A long-term perspective, a waste of time, because... There were no match. Well, I didn't do this shit for moral gain. I want money. Well, I heard you got a date out of it, so... That was not... <laughs> <laughs> it was a destruction. Congratulations! How did it go? Not well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's I such a catch, I care, too. honestly. <laughs> Speaking of cash, you still owe me 100 gold. I don't do sh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wish I'd stayed dead at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have stayed dead. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Alright, well. I'm, uh... Santa just tosses him a hundred gold coins and they splatter all over the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> have I a... Do I get a spell for that to pick it up? I don't know. Mage I hand, maybe, I, I don't know, something. No, I don't know, I, I just, I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> well, well I, I'm I, gonna I go, uh, go hundred, hundred coins. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go bed down for the night. Um, yeah. Come on down to the, uh, caravan place tomorrow and we'll, uh, get to going. And he'll, uh, nod to you all and head on out with a, a beer. I want to knock at the owner's door. You don't know where the owner's door is. <laughs> I'm going to look at the whole fucking weird-ass office looking. So there is the main floor here. There is the back rooms, which are like the lounges. And that's all you really know. Hmm. Uh, you know, if a heal I, went, but you didn't pass that. Yeah, you don't have any clue. I'm going to ask for heal. Huh? Where did you meet the owner? Don't worry, I'm not going to like hurt him or dumb shit like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she has to preface that. <laughs> I mean, you know, Senna has a reputation, but it was in like a back room, right? It was in like a, yeah. So you went private... into the lounge, and then there was like uh, rooms behind that with like gar guides guarding the doors, um, and it was like, these, uh... these smaller smoking lounges that he was in. Behind the lounge, there are some private smoking rooms that are guarded by some very surly and armed men. I'm sure okay. this week might know let you in. I'll knock, I guess, verbally. Uh, what's that... What's that Ash one's last name? Sister one. <laughs> <laughs> that is not helpful information. What's her last what name? What is her last name? Perot. Oh, Peridot. Perot. Per 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 I don't know, dude. Perio. Wizo. Oh, what? Wizo, yeah. Croissant. Wizo. Croissant, Croissant baguette. Yes. Croissant. Okay. French fuck. <sighs> well, don't no one, stray too far. No, I'll be no back soon. No one fucks like Gaston. No one Gaston. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, I'm, 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 Gaston. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the back room and see if I can't talk to the guards and the. Yes, yeah, so you head into the back lounge. Um. Not a lot of people chilling. I mean, it's getting pretty late. There's. Some clientele, but it's not as busy as it would be like during the day. Um, you do see the uh, doors in the back of the room with these uh, bellhop individuals chilling at them. Um, you head up to them. And yeah. However you want to handle uh, it. Hi. Uh, can I talk to the boss man, manager person? Do you have a <laughs> specific meeting with him? Any business? I don't have a specific meeting, but I would like to arrange one, preferably tonight, because we have just prevented disaster for this casino. 
and I just wouldn't have mentioned that to him. You can ask the guards. I know the I know they've seen the person who well, uh, wanted to get in here, but we took care of that. One second. He'll yeah. um, step through the doors and close them behind him. You hear a lock. Um, some muttering. Um, <clears throat> he'll come back and he'll say, uh, Mr. Silvas, we'll see you. Come on back. Wonderful. Thank you. You are welcomed into this, uh, this back room here. Um, sure. You see him sitting uh, at a table. This uh, tabaxi man wearing very fine clothing. Uh, I'm just going to walk in there like, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know manners for tabaxi. <laughs> Do I bow? Uh, he'll kind of look at you for a second. Kind of look you up and down. He's, he's uh, fiddly, fiddling with a poker chip between his fingers. How is he yeah. dressed? Wait, what, what's, um, what's he's kind of he's wearing. So he's wearing like the, the traditional kind of like um, robes and stuff. But you can oh, see he, the the front. It's more of like a cloak that he's wearing in the kind of hmm. uh, native style, but under it he is wearing a very fine like black silk suit with a red kind of under, kind of like Dutch's suit in a sense. Damn. Oh, um, okay. He's he's very very well dressed. So. Um, yeah, I just go in there like asking. How yeah, he he'll, he'll look to you and he'll say, "Nothing quite like that, darling. Just a good hello." Okay, mind if I do a firm handshake? Business partners and all. I'm with uh, Fahil. Lunch. Hammerlock. We we lock. Not Hammerlock. Yeah, Hammerlock. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Are you one of the rioters? Not by affiliation, but by surroundings, I suppose. I am I am running with them right now. Yeah. Have take a seat. Wonderful. Yeah. I I will take a seat. Yeah. He'll uh, so light up a cigarette and start smoking. So, um, does the name, uh, Ash Perriot ring any bells? Can't say it does, no. Uh, she's like, big shot from, uh, Deadlock Gang. She's the leader. But... My days of dealing with gangs are long gone. I left that on yeah. the island. Um, I'll just say this much. We prevented that from happening again. Just prevented now. what exactly? So, Ash Harriet <clears throat> and a gigantic robot, as well as a band of about seven, eight other people, were planning to rob this establishment of yours. You can ask the guards, they were in here scoping this out. We made them move on. I was just gonna go inform you that we've just prevented a casino robbery in your establishment. Just so you know. Take a bit of care, they might come back when they find out. But we've sent them off to Southmore. He's kinda got this like kinda somewhat sideways smile looking at you as you're talking. Um and he'll stop moving the poker chip for a second and put his hand down and look at you and say No need to play coy. Why are you really here? I mean this is what I meant by not being disrespectful. I was gonna ask if we could, I don't know, have a reward. Hmm. I mean, we did just save your money, so. Do you I'm have sure proof that you saved this, this uh, casino? I don't particularly have proof, but you can ask your guards. They've seen them come in and scope it out. And you can ask, you can ask Byron, anyone. Byron, come here. here. And he'll uh, motion over his, his uh, butler and whisper something to him. Man will nod and... Head out the doors. Um, Good luck, will confirm it for you. <clears throat> for heel, you see um, Mr. Silvas' personal butler come up to you, um, kind of lean in a bit and say, uh, your friend seems to be trying to collect money. Um, okay. Do you want me to accompany you to her? Yes, she's not making a great uh, impression. Ah, okay. Let's get this all back. <laughs> okay. Follow me, and he'll bring you back. Mm -hmm. um, as you come in, Sen you, yeah, you notice as like... you come in, Sen is sitting there. He doesn't say anything to you while you're, you guys are sitting there. It's kind of awkward. As so he isn't looking proud or anything. She's just like... Yeah. So Voss is just kind of sitting there, kind of like Scarface style, leg up on the other one, kind of just looking <laughs> at you. Um, for heel, yeah, as you walk in, yeah, as you walk in, you see he stands up and comes over and makes sure to shake your hand. And then sits back down as he welcomes you into the table. Oh. Um. <laughs> 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 
lovely to see you again, Mr. Silvers, and all that. Great to see you too, baby. Great to see you too. So what's going on here? You Apparently, you guys were brave heroes that saved my casino. It, it wasn't well, really that brave. It was more like a lot of things. Dana, listen, you're great. But let, me, let me do this. <laughs> you, you want okay. the chair? I'm, I'm good where I am. So uh, what she has been saying is true. Uh, Ash Veradots and her Denmark gang were targeting the vault of this casino. Uh, mm. We scoped them, we being me, we awoke Santa here and a few other of our associates. And we, through deception and charisma, uh, <laughs> <convinced> them, <laughs> and performance, and performance and performance convinced them that maybe robbing this place wasn't such a good idea. And our friend Sally here did most of the legwork. She's definitely a credit to this entire operation. Hmm. We would have told you up front, but that would have just made things harder. Hmm. How many folks did you have in on this operation? I believe... Uh, we are with six now, right? Or is it seven? Uh, let's see. For heel, Senna, Hierophant, Katagoon, Nemrat, and Wheelock. So six. So yeah, and your six. Group. Yeah. <clears throat> well, here's six gold. I'm real thankful. I, of course, wouldn't want to have to have any bloodshed on. Such a beautiful carpet. Ah. Of course. <laughs> Myron, could you go grab some, uh, some stuff from the vault? The man will nod and I head, head out of a, a back door, which you can see goes outside. Um, uh, Silvas will look to you again for heel and say, so, uh, how exactly did you manage to stop these individuals? Hmm. Well. Oh. <laughs> Firstly, our friend Sana here distracted Miss Ash by. Uh, Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> striking up a friendly conversation, you know, buying drinks at the bar, making her feel special, validated, important, that sort of thing, which delayed her from going to her associates and starting the whole job. Meanwhile, our <laughs> associates... So <laughs> also kind of interrupt, put his hand up for a second, look over to Sam and say, well, I didn't fancy you the romantic type. <laughs> <laughs> good on you. I mean, Thanks. I don't know if a gangster is a good pick, but... Uh, it know. was purely business, I assure you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for here. I interrupted you. Please continue. No problem. Our associate, uh, Karagoon, meanwhile, uh, using magic, adopted uh, the appearance of Miss Ash. And uh, I didn't mention to you that I'm altering my appearance. I just said I take care of that. Oh, yeah. So, shit, you I'm saw him, though, didn't you? Pretty sure you saw him. That, that, yeah. I think I saw him, you know, going into the the impersonation, mm -hmm. but from there, it, it's assumption. Wait, oh, I was just going to say... Okay. Uh, our associate Karagoon uh, disguised himself as Miss Ash and misled her associates and held them up. Eventually, they left the building empty-handed. Mm. No plans to come back. How fortunate. Uh, you see Byron comes back through the back door holding um, some boxes. And, uh... Here's an old sense. Silvas will open it up. <clears throat> and he'll look to you guys and he'll say, I'll leave the distribution uh, to you guys, but uh, just as a little bit of a thanks. Uh, here you go. And he'll hand over 10,000 gold. It's on your ghost. Fuck. <laughs> very grateful, Mr. Silvers. Thank you. As am I. 
Uh, I'm about to yunk that box. <laughs> well, the box for is heel, put back away. <laughs> for heel, having taken the gold out of the box, does the whole, you know, goodbyes and pleasantries, and as subtly, mm -hmm. but not subtly at all, motions to sound like, come on, get up. Uh, can I keep the and... box? What's that? Can I, can I keep the box? <laughs> Do you ask that? <laughs> yeah. It's it's for um a, a pet. It's a family heirloom. I'm afraid it stays with oh, me. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. I keep it. Yep. He looks kind of annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I noticed his annoyance and decided it'd probably be best to leave before yeah. he throws a cane sword at us. But after we're out of the room and back in, you know, a, a more public area amongst the crowds and all that, I, I pull Santa aside and say, Hey, look, I know I gave you a lot of shit today, and you assaulting me was well deserved, but it seriously. Was just a nail yes, but seriously. It's like you clicked you... my ear. What I'm trying to say is that you did good. Thanks. I guess. That guy in there is rich as fuck, and has influence spanning this entire continent. He'll remember your face, and if you're lucky, he'll treat you well. He hasn't done that so far, but I expect him to maybe warm up, warm up a bit. I have been kind of a dick. That box, uh, I really wanted that box for Crystal, to be honest. Uh, box wasn't that no, big. Exactly didn't get it. It was a pretty small box, all things considered. Yeah. I didn't uh, want to see that. Oh, okay. Like a toy. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so with that, uh, you guys can spread that money evenly as you see fit. Um, How does that split in the math? Can I'm going to let you guys figure that out. Six. Um, but I think that's as good as any place to uh, end the session. That was I mean, solid. We have, five, we have five people, so that's 2,000 each. Yeah.